Previously on The Lineage of Moonrage. We found some people. We thought they were bad. Willem and Gorble started to lie to them about Devin, but I had to come clean. It got too hard. And it ended up that we had found the Karagar people, and turns out they were cool. They gave us mushroom, and we performed, and then Hexel showed us some things. Meanwhile, I think Tomar and Willem stumbled upon a frightening encounter. Ooh. 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 How, would, how would you think of that? <laughs> that you would know that. Anyone doesn't know that. <laughs> she got a feeling in her giblets. The D20 Syndicate presents The Lineage of Moonreach. Welcome back to the D20 <laughs> Syndicate Podcast. Hi! Howdy, hi! Welcome! Welcome to the show! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't like us. <laughs> we'll let Brad back in here. Hi, Brad! Welcome! <laughs> weekly... Who left the basement door open? <laughs> A weekly Dungeons & Dragons actual play podcast. I am your host and DM, Seth. And around the table, we have our players. I'm Billy, and I play Willem. I'm Elijah, and I play Hurtstag. I'm Brad, I play Toma! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm Tomas, I play Toma. I'm Lindsay, and I play Penguin. And I'm Michaela, and I play Gorbel. And each week, we record for your listening <laughs> pleasure and dole it out to you masses. And um, we that's... got a different setup today. We're all sitting at the same height, except for Seth. I'm way low. It's, it's, a, it's really a power funny. move. Yeah, it's it like is. you're at an interview. Yeah, I'm, I'm really insecure now. <laughs> you're in like, the play school chair. Maybe you guys could roll. Maybe You don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, you, can just, you can just succeed. I think I rip his sack off like a paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's cool, I guess. It's perforated. <laughs> it's perforated. Pre-perforated for my pleasure. <laughs> Gross. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thanks for uh, listening. I'm wondering if this might be a weird thing to request, but those of you who listen to the podcast, it's hard to tell if you guys are uh, also active on our social media campaigns. So if you are listening right now, feel free to comment with the word bodega with an exclamation point on anything you see, just so we know that you're listening and we can keep track of you and then we can stalk you. I was just thinking <laughs> about that, that we ought to make like a bodega shirt. Yeah. Cause we have, why don't we have a bodega shirt? Because we all colloquially understand that bodega right. means fuck them up. Yeah. yeah. Attack. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> um, also a little bit of house cleaning in a previous episode. I don't remember if it was 56 or if it's one that hasn't aired yet, but you had said... Uh, our Patreon was patreon.com slash d20 syndicate, but it's actually d20 underscore syndicate. Okay, gotcha. So if you go to the d20 syndicate one, you're not going to find the dope perks that we have. Yeah. You should have just. I think like, that was our the first one that I made on. You should have just recorded a little bit in there and been like underscore. I thought voice. about <laughs> adding, I thought about just recording yes. over it, but yeah. Thank That'd you for funny. applying, Doctor Orpheus <laughs> and team. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you are checking out our Patreon, www.patreon.com slash D20 underscore syndicate. Not, you better not forget that underscore. Don't be giving it to that other D20 syndicate. Yeah, the other guys are just solely 20 inch dildos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's sin with a S-I-N. Um, but no, I and think that one was dick my dick with a I C K. Sin dick, sin dick kit. kit. <laughs> Wait, is this one of those things where we have to make that website now? <laughs> yeah. If um, we say it on the can end. I order one of your sin dick kits? <laughs> <laughs> a twenty size one. <laughs> that's the only time. That's the only kind we make. So <laughs> you're in luck, Buster. You're in luck, motherfucker. <laughs> No, the other one was the one that I initially made, and uh, we both made one at the same time. Mm -hmm. And oh, then I cute. was just like... That's so cute. Well... And I was like, shit, the good one was taken. <laughs> but then we, we proceeded with the bad one. Yeah. So... Oh, well. Live maybe and learn. We'll, maybe we'll make another one. <laughs> so you can <laughs> double donate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And then have exclusive perks on each one. <laughs> <laughs> just be dicks. Yeah. Ugh. Dick kits. <laughs> Big old sin dick kits. Um, Full circle. So, uh, yeah, we should do an around the campfire question. Um, 
And this week's Around the Campfire question, if you are all prepared, is tell me about a rumor that you have heard what during your travels uh, throughout Veildlin as a wolf of Moonreach. And I'm going to start with Gorble. Okay. I feel like you always start with Gorble. Yeah, what's up with that? Little Favoritism. chair. He's just the most A little ready. nepotiz. <gasps> anyway. <laughs> Shit, they're on to us. I heard a rumor once that I was dating Ferent the Feral and that he threw one of our fights. And guess what? None of that's true. And I do not know why people feel this need to just make assumptions about people's lives when they're in the public eye. It's ridiculous. We went to dinner like six times. We slept <laughs> together maybe for a month. And we, t- we joked about throwing fights, but we, no, it never happened. So that's Completely the part false. that's wrong? Or you did date them, but... Or are you also claiming you didn't date, just No, we didn't date. Up. It was D- dinner. Did you ever hold hands? Do you ever Netflix and chill? Well, that doesn't mean dating. I mean, but if you hold hands with someone and you, your hands are all that, sweaty. And, did he give you a bouquet of flowers? Am I dating my grandma? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Did he Uh-oh. give you a, a bouquet of flowers after getting eight hearts of yours? <laughs> oh. No. I, I would say this is just a rumor. Insert all right. Adele song Sounds here. Sounds like somebody's in denial. <laughs> I wonder who started that rumor. <laughs> Gesticulating wildly at Willem. Um, oh no, my nipples are erect. <laughs> Willem. Rumor you've heard. Uh, so when we were infiltrating the camp outside of Moonreach, I heard some Rothian soldiers uh, talking about how a company that contained two drow, a human and a dwarf... Uh, ransacking an outpost and making off with weapons, armor, and treasure, essentially gold. Uh, and enough, like it pissed people off enough, it pissed off the Rodian army enough that they're like evidently enemies of the state and of the army now at this point. And uh, they've just been making their way across the country, hitting military outposts, usually posing as high ranking officers and soldiers, and then just making like a ridiculously explosive escape on their airship. And it sounds like it's a bunch of my old buddies, hmm. uh, just by the description. And I kind of hope that it is. Just sticking it to the man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're defenseless villages. <laughs> uh, Tomar. I heard a rumor when I came back, when I was in Deepminster for a while, that Lord Skullmarth of the High Council, uh, Whitebrow, was keen on young boys. Oh. Um that I'm was sorry, just, what the fuck? That was just something that uh, people were passing around the lower quarter uh, mm. in bars. They were saying some of their kids were getting accepted into clergy and that he would be there and he was getting awfully close with them. Hmm. It's a very disturbing rumor. Mm-hmm. Especially since you guys met Scully. He seemed like a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, don't they all? <laughs> That's how uh, they get you. Pinwin. Well... So you know that that lady that we found where she doesn't talk and she uses like hand motions to talk and she's running our tavern, that one? Yeah, are you talking about Elphaba? Elphaba. Did you know? I think I've heard her stag likes her. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. I'm so glad this is happening. I was hoping hoping that Pinwin would just have like some like, I heard Tomar is a fucking idiot or something. (laughs) Her stag. <clears throat> well, um, I heard that, uh, well, this was some time ago, uh, before I became a wolf of Moonreach. Um, but that, that Verolis guy, he had me thinking, he got me to thinking about the tortles. And, um, Glode told me a while back that she used to know this guy named Ketak, who was a turtle. Tic Tac. Yeah. Kit Kat. 
that mm-hmm. might have been Nick Nat. I, 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 get, I get names. I don't. I'm not good with names. <laughs> but but she knew this. This Dick kid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she knew this turtle named Ketak, and he rolled with this group of turtles that were druids, and I guess that was a common thing because they have a they have a short lifespan anyway yeah that's a that's a common thing or it used to be that uh turtles they would become druids because they have short lifespans and druids can live for a really long time so um but this was like 400 years ago where they were kind of a common thing still don't know what happened to them but all right kind of disappeared was that Elijah trying to implant a character in a future <laughs> campaign? Now he can he confirmed yeah. it with me. No, but. I want I want the turtles. I want to find out what the fuck happened to him. <laughs> Is that Elijah's <laughs> way of sucking your dick? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. So, as uh, as we left off last time, Tomar had just discovered um, in inside of a little hut, uh, Balor, uh, warm spine. Uh, Throat cut. Anyway, Balor, worm spine. He's laying uh, on his back, his throat cut. I'm going to run up and try and spare the dying, if possible. Okay. Well, he was still recapping a little bit. No, I don't want fine. him to be like, and he's dead. This is like fine. you watching the blood pool out of his neck, and he's dead <laughs> for fifteen I don't minutes even know straight. What <laughs> was doing. I forgot. You were you were in do that. You, do you have to touch the body to do spare the dying? Yeah, well, well, I I, I grabbed Tomar so. by the scruff of the <laughs> neck. <laughs> yes, you have to touch. All right, so you rush up to him and spare the dying. Are you actually trying to grab my neck? Yeah. Why? Because I don't want us to be here at all. We need to. I have a bad feeling about. So this. you feel Willem like grasp you to try to stop you? I fart him away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, I what put, are you doing? I Get put off. my prongy dick in his back to <laughs> fucking make him Get your stick. dick off my back. What are no. you doing? This doesn't feel right. We need to go. I'm not going to let him die if I can avoid it. He, he looks dead already. Did you do this? This mm-hmm. looks a lot like your handiwork, Mr. Knife Guys Under uh, Carts. <laughs> Granted. But no, this I'm was touch not him. me. I'm oh, touching God him. God damn it. I'm going to go watch the door. Okay. Yeah, that won't look suspicious. <laughs> it's already a suspicious. A half elf like keeping watch on Balor's tent. It's fucking already suspicious. A fucking outsider door. Just pull out an apple, touching start up. nervously eating it and whistling <laughs> with apple chunks flying out of my mouth. I just pictured you like standing by the door with like I don't know, just like in a normal health setting or something, and then someone comes in and you just whack them with a pan on the head. Oh, yeah, just to make it obvious <laughs> that, that you're protecting the entrance. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so you run up and you put your hands on Balor. Real quick, we're going to switch back into Hexel's <laughs> hut, where the you where Herstag, Gorble, and Pinwin, oh, and Zyko, are standing watching uh, Hexel chisel away, and he's kind of explaining what he's doing. And, and you guys realize that as he's chiseling, uh, the face finally on this statue that he's carving. As you'll remember, he carves people who he sees in his dreams that end up dying. And you see that the face of the statue looks very, very similar to Balor Wormspine. And even he looks a little confused. Is he like the death note of statue makers? He's like the 3D printer of dead people. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, got another deposit. And you guys. Oh, no, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> you're just crying as you're chiseling the features. <laughs> That's pr- uh, pretty much it. Um, <laughs> but you realize that it looks very much like Balor Wormspine in the face. And it's almost a complete statue. Uh, Hexel is. Does this. Yeah, this is. Doesn't... I mean, he's in his mm-hmm. tent, yeah? Uh, Does he have like a brother? He he, like nervously looks around Does and he then he continues to, and then you guys stop. And then you guys notice that when he hits to try to carve a little bit more out of the statue, and all of a sudden, what? 
a big spider web crack goes all the way across as if he hit the wrong spot and the whole statue crumbles. At that moment, Tomar, you have spared the dying. Ooh, Whoa. sick. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> But he is still dead. And then he starts. <laughs> He's still dead. I spared him by putting him out of his misery. <laughs> Spare this poor man. I look back and you're cutting his throat <laughs> <with> again. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> blood oh, you have, I forgot what you we You have doing. spared the dying. Bell, are you okay? He is still unconscious. <laughs> I tap his cheek a little bit. I stab him a little bit. It doesn't seem to uh, do much. And now you hear footsteps. Many footsteps coming up towards Willem's the... outside. Oh, okay. I am not outside. Are you standing in the doorway? I'm I'm not standing in the doorway. The door is shut and okay. I'm I'm like looking Is are there, there like a windows? Door? There is a door, yeah. It was a jar, if you'll remember. When You're you a jar. Approach. The door is a jar. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> you must have closed it. Are there like little windows? There is a one little window in there, and you got you can see since you'd be looking out, okay. kind of you can see that there is a group of Karagar rushing towards this hut that you guys are currently in. We can got you shroud us somehow? Yes. So yeah, I, I cast invisibility on. Should I do both y'all? All of us? All of us. So here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I I don't know. I'll I'll leave that up to your discretion. But it's a creature I touch becomes invisible, and I think it's one creature. Yeah, it's it's singular. It's not mm-hmm. plural. Is it concentration? Uh, yes. Up, you up to one hour. It uh increases with higher spell slots. At higher levels, I can make my dick bigger. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, if I cast it at a third level or higher, I can target one additional creature for each slot above <laughs> the second. Okay, so I if I were to cast it just normally, it'd be one. Mm-hmm. But I have two third level spell slots. Okay. So above thir- second level. Can you just cast it at fourth level and get all three of us? I think that would be. I only go to third it level. Concentration. Oh, it is concentration. Why do you only go to third? Because I multiclassed, probably. Oh. I'm guessing. Oh. I'm only oh. rogue thirteen, fighter five. Well, so you can only get two of us. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So what? Just pop us out. Okay. And then we hug the walls. Because <laughs> damn. All right. Yeah. Uh. I, I grab Tomar, and I just cast Invisibility on both of us. Okay. Can I just All right. leave dead? So you, guys, so you guys so you guys disappear just as the door bursts open, and you see the this group of Karagar looking around wildly as if they're very concerned about something, and they look down, and they see a pool of blood, and they see uh, Balor laying in the pool of blood, which you've spared the dying, so instead of an open gash, he now has a big scar across his throat. And they're they're looking, and they, they mutter to each other, and you just hear the, Balor, 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 and they heft him up, and they carry him out of the hut. I was hoping they weren't going to say, we thought you were, we killed you, and then they just <laughs> slice his throat again. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, well, man. better finish the job. Everybody get your knives out. Yeah, then Willem would have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and they dra- they not drag him, but they carry him out. And then you hear a loud clamoring outside as the rest of the Karagar become aware of the situation. You can Billy, I mean Billy, can, uh, Will- can Willem and I see each other if we're invisible? I don't think so, no. We're holding hands. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> he just never stopped That's touching you. <laughs> <laughs> My hand is, yeah, I somehow I put it under your armor and it's up your back right now. <laughs> Can we whisper to each other? Yeah, it doesn't stop you from whispering. We gotta find a way to get out of here before they come back. Can we get a quick rundown of the layout? Of the, yeah, it's a, like a little like circular a hut. hut. Okay. They all kind of, they're kind of like KV huts. True. Um, and it's just, it's one single room. There's a little okay. bed in there. There's a little... Um, like counter space. There's some books. It's a. It's pretty basic. There's not a ton in here. You do see there's like a, a mess of scrolls sitting by his bed. Ooh, that's interesting, but we don't have time. Uh, the window, I'm assuming, is quite small. It's very small. Uh, and there's only one door leading out. Correct. And we can't make out that there are any other, like, maybe trap doors or back exits or anything like that? It doesn't appear to be. I You could investigate, but... Um, 
I mean, it would be very surprising if you found something in here. Are any of the scrolls open? Uh, yeah, they look like, uh, if you, just a cursory glance looks like he's been writing stuff. Can I cursory glance at one of them? Yeah. You Does it say anything important? Uh, no, it looks like it's just, uh, daily inventory. <laughs> Dear um, diary. My <laughs> dogs are barking. <laughs> so Willem, Willem thinks that we are, like, trying to fuck off immediately, and... Uh, I'm still like kind of holding on to Tomar's arm mm-hmm. and I realize that he's not moving. And I'm like, what are you doing? I was just checking to see if there was anything important about the ritual in here. But yeah, we should go. What is, are did, the Kuragar still in the... No, they yeah, have left, they the, left the hut. Okay. okay. And we need to be careful. Let's slip out. There's only one door here. Which, which way should we go? We can just go... Up. Go a little ways behind one of the buildings and then break your concentration, then we can come out like we just heard a commotion or something. Okay. Let's go. All right. So you guys exit the hut. Now we'll switch back to the four of you in Hexel's hut. Uh, the statue has just crumbled. Uh, that was weird. Does that does normally it, happen? It, it doesn't normally happen, no. Has it happened? That's never happened to me before. Well, that's oh. I mean that's different that's than normally <laughs> not happening. It's never happened. That's weird. Mm. What does that mean? Uh, I, I don't know. If her stag like stone shaped it back into existence, would it suddenly <laughs> die? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fucking Final Destination shit. Uh, so do you have to like start over now? I, th- I think I do. That's unfortunate. That took. Well, it didn't take that long, but... No, you're surprisingly fast. It's mm-hmm. the, the thing that concerns me is that this, this, is, this has never happened before, so I don't know how I, uh, how I proceed. Do I do the same one? So they don't, they don't know the correlation between a real person's spirit and then the statues, I mean, right? They, just, guess, they just know that he's making a statue mm-hmm. and it broke. Yeah. Okay. That's all you guys know. <clears throat> Wait. Do you hear something out there? You guys can now hear a loud clamoring. Uh, uh, right. Rose, such a clazer. <laughs> uh, Hexel kind of looks confused. He looks out his window. And he s- you guys can all see outside his little window that there's a bunch of people gathering in that main area. And he kind of uh, looks back at you guys. Uh, excuse me. I, I, I must see what's going on. And he pushes the door open and he walks out into the uh, the main area and leaving you guys in there by yourselves. Well, I mean, we should probably, like, go see what's going on, too, right? Yeah, I'm not s- hanging out in a stranger's yeah, hut. Why, we're done. Yeah, we're done. What is that? What kind of stone was he shaping that from? Was uh, that jade? It was not jade, no. <laughs> <laughs> Expensive-ass death statue. <laughs> Are you going to inspect it? Inspect. Nah. <laughs> Well, God let's go. Damn. I'll find some eventually. Um, <clears throat> well, that was weird. The soy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I wish there was some way I could know more about what's happening. Yeah, we, oh, well. we go outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you guys go outside and you guys can First see. sucks. <laughs> and you guys can see a big gathering of the Karagar and they seem to be gathered around some object of some kind. Or it, it, It's hard to tell, but almost as if somebody is laying on the ground. I come up to the... To the edge of the group. And, and you can hear them kind of arguing. Do you guys now approach? I was going to say, um, do, yeah. did we so, need to make a check to, for that? To, okay. No, everybody's so distracted. When we were circling around, uh, did I see any inorp mushrooms? Any what? Inorp mushrooms. Oh, uh, yeah, you would have seen like a few smaller ones. I picked a couple. Okay. And brought them with us. Okay. Gotcha. What mushrooms? Inorp. That's what we had at the feast. Mm-hmm. Oh. And they fully heal you. Oh. Mm. Smort. What's going on? What's happening? Yeah, you guys now see Willem and Tomar joining you guys. And uh, there's every, all the uh, the Karagar kind of looking around. And you guys can now see that in the middle of them all is laying on the ground is an unconscious form. And it is Balor Wormspine. His neck has a giant scar that looks like it was recently healed. Um, and he, his back is covered in blood. Oh, holy shit. And you can hear the Kurgar very excitedly and angrily arguing. Um, and it, they, it seems to be that they're trying to, obviously they're trying to figure out what was what's happening. But uh, you hear one voice kind of above the others. 
and uh, he looks at you guys. He his eyes find you, and he says, "They, they are the ones who had done this. The outsiders. They definitely attacked him." Uh, Hexel, can yeah, you? Yeah, we were in Hexel. Uh-oh. And Hexel steps forward, and he's like, uh, "They, some of them were with me. They, they couldn't have done anything like this." And he returns. He's like, "No, no." They definitely, it, this, none of this would ever happen if they hadn't been here. Sorry, what's your name? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you. you dick. <laughs> oh, his name's Dick. Uh, excuse me, Dick? <laughs> My name is Snorri. <laughs> Snorri? Yes. Well, I'm Snorri to bother you, but you <laughs> sound suspicious as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Episode title, Snorri to bother Snorry you. To bother you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you almost... I got lightheaded from laughing at that so hard. <laughs> because that's perfect. That's exactly where I was going with this, is just fucking turn that shit right back at him. Like, excuse me, no, we did not do this. We know. Why are you accusing us? Because you were the outsiders. None of us were the Because we're the this. outsiders. Okay, Why so. would we, the people who want to rekindle the Soul Forge, kill the guy who was waiting to see if we could rekindle the Soul Forge? Bigger question, why is no one trying to heal him? He's, like, we're just letting him keep he has, bleeding? He has been suspiciously healed. Also, suspiciously. a valid point that I should make is out. if we could get in here so easily, what's to say somebody else who maybe did this? Did you bring someone else with you? You guys yeah, said the whole that fucking crew. my brother had already been in here. Yes. And He's he is the a one well-known he did, dick. He did not come through here. You don't know. He he took refuge here. That's what you guys said. No, he was in the mountain. He was not in our area. You know Snorri, do you have any reason to not want the Soul Forge rekindled? No! Inside we all... Okay. My eyes glow, and I give uh, Balor a bomb. Balm. I just, oh, he's, oh, cast, oh, he he's got a bomb! <laughs> he's casting a spell! And all the Karagar... One hit point. <laughs> all the Karagar kind of move back as you do that, and like, stop him! Stop him from casting any more magic! Wait. Yeah. I'm saving you, him. He seems genuine, but angry. Okay. He's just stupid. I didn't even tell you Look. the role. I had a natural 20, by the way. <laughs> he seems genuine, but angry. He's just stupid. I think we are all a little worked up right now, and it's understandable. But if we want to get to the bottom of this, we're going to have to stay calm. Well, he should be waking up any second. And maybe he, he can tell I us. I just healed him. Yeah. Well, you healed him for one HP. That, oh. that brings him back to consciousness. I know. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's also in a coma. <laughs> oh, God. So Hexel uh, steps forward. He's like, uh, please, please, uh, let, let me talk to them. Calm them down. Then the riled, the riled. Your friend seems to have healed him a little bit, so let's let's relax here. And he says, let's, let's, let's not point fingers, friends. Let's, let's calm down. Let's... Let's hear hear them out. Let's let's wait for Balor to to uh, revive, and then we can we can make better judgment. No, there's no reason to to jump to conclusions. Yeah, maybe wait it. for Balor to point fingers here. And Relax. You guys can see Balor's eyes like slowly like fluttering open. Severed his vocal cords. Can't talk anymore. <laughs> well, Great. Hopefully he, he knows how does, to write. He does. He uh, does kind of choke out like (laughs) it does appear that his vocal cords are damaged and everyone kind of glares suspiciously at you guys Um, but Balor seems to be staring right at Hexel Mm. (laughs) sincerely okay (laughs) who are your most trusted people in the village and Hexel steps forward Uh, people they trust me you seem like you're already on our side. How about the most trustworthy that has a differing view that we're the ones that did this? As Tomar said that, I looked at Hexel and smiled. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just everybody calm down for a second. I'm saying we can find out without speaking. We can share a connection mentally and talk mm-hmm. amongst each other with him. Mm-hmm. And if we can bring a couple of you in, then you can know what happened without him having to say anything. And Hexel 
looks at his the the rest of the Karagar. This this makes this makes sense. We could we could find the, get to the bottom. And uh, Snarry kind of snarls, <laughs> and <laughs> he's like, "No, we cannot let them be close to Balor. P- put go go over there, go over there. Let why us discuss. We, we are Karagar. You are not Karagar. Why don't we just ask? You are not Karagar. Balor's opinion. You are not Karagar. Your leader, right? You are not Karagar. We you're like you're like not me. half elf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought Hex- we were shouting things that are obvious. Hexel, <laughs> Hexel, uh, cut, he like looks to you, Gorble. Uh, they, they're they're riled. Could is it possible that you guys could just go stand aside for a second? Like, no you- one tells us to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the man. We go Give over there when we space. want to. Give him some space. Yeah, he needs course. to breathe. Thank you for having our backs. Here, yes, but please cal- calm them down. There, we do things a certain way, and this. They're not going to take the opinion of outsiders. Just to be safe, I'm going to give him another bomb. Stop Don't worry. No, just Still, you get better. him. Get I, him. Just, uh, let's and several of the Karagar kind of uh, like uh, go we, up towards you, Herstag, and grab your arms. He's hey, hey, hey. still very weak. No casting spells. Herstag, just, this just give it a rest no for a second. Casting spells. Just, just let him... Just let's just back off. Let's give him some space. It's okay. Our group, (laughs) let's go over here. We're just gonna go stand right over here. Pow wow in the corner. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. Not casting any spells. Sorry. (laughs) I'm just concerned for his. Hexel nods at them. Like, go go ahead. Really, it'll be fine. We'll we'll discuss. And they let you go. Just let me know when you want him to be healed. He's barely hanging on right now. So you guys like move a little further away and kind of cluster together. You can see that there's a small ring of Karagar that are kind of, or it's more like a semicircle, kind of watching you uh, just to make sure you don't make any sudden moves or try to escape. <laughs> and you can see the rest of them, cl- you know, cluster around. I'll just kind of smile at him. <laughs> Okay, so we found his body. Oh, we found his body? We found his body. Uh, was you that you? I was going to go talk to him, but he had not, his throat slit when we got in there. Um, Did you see anybody, like, lurking around? No. Obviously, I would have chased after them if that were the case. Well, said you, you found him with his throat slit, or it's yes. his... Okay, it sounded to me like you said throat slit when we got in there, like... It happened when you... No, and no, just, no, no. Just to be clear, Willem, this was not you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Willem. Willem will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not me. He was like that when we found him. Okay. Just, Tomar just healed checking. him. I'm just sticking. Okay. I wanted to get out of there, but Tomar healed him, and then they were rushing in, and I knew it was going to look suspicious. Yeah, so definitely. I, we ghosted out of there. I, I thought you lost your healing powers. Yeah. For some reason, the only thing I have control of still is stopping someone from dying. But mm-hmm. they have to be still holding on just barely for it to work. If they're already dead, there's nothing I can do. Mm-hmm. So, do we think this was Romar? I don't know. Or do you do you think one of I don't know why he would target people? him specifically. Does and Romar if he have, was... like, an M.O.? Or like, can is he a big throat slitter? Or like, does he usually magic people to death? How, what's his deal? The only I feel like the only reason why he would need to slit someone's throat is for like a ritual. Like, if he took some of his blood or something. Why would he? And it didn't. Blood? I don't know. It, I it mean, seemed like there was a lot of it. But it seemed like a quick like yeah. they wanted to silence, silence somebody yeah. or make us look bad or yeah. something. And at this I mean, point, this is really okay. inconvenient timing. Yeah, yeah. From, and from it the, definitely does I mean, good. can you guys convince them somehow? Like, it do, like when you think about it logically, it doesn't make sense for us to just stroll in here and randomly slit a guy's throat. No, yeah. that's ridiculous. Yeah. But I but, totally understand where they're coming for from. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Like, he wasn't dead and then we showed up and now he's dead. Mm-hmm. Speaking of timing, from... All the accounts that we've gotten so far, it sounds like if it is Romar that's, you know, here ahead of us, it sounds like it is. He's been ahead of us for days. Weeks. Why would he circle back now and do this? Unless he's stalling us. 
Do you think he needs time to enact whatever he's doing and he sent like an agent to do it for him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If if he knows we are here and he killed him, then I mean naturally these people would think that we were the ones who did it. Sure. And that Can't would probably him. stop us from rekindling the forge. Herstag well, I don't know about you guys, but I think we could take these fuckers. Are those... Dr- we're not going to kill the Garagor. We're not. Absolutely I don't not. want I don't to. Know. I don't want to. I'm just saying, if that was his plan, it's a very ill-conceived plan. Herstag, when we were in the, the Midland Wilds and we had those visions, is that a a byproduct of being in by Leothandria, or did we all just have shared visions? Because it's possible that Romar could have had a vision. I mean, I feel like we already been over this. I mean, this, the, the well, I'm not be a dick about it. I, well, <laughs> you know, we did talk about it and I'm kind of where I was at before. Like it, I don't feel like it's, you know, you're more prone to, to dreams in the Midland wilds. But to me, that felt like a vision. And at so that you don't time, think it was being under Leothandria that gave us the vision? Did you drug us? At that time, Leothandria was also like inert. She wasn't. She wasn't active. But you had talked to her. What is no, it? No, I, I was unable. Not, I was unable to. Um. <laughs> all right. Voice, well, <laughs> right. That's right, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you were able to at first, and then all of a sudden she went silent. Yeah. So I don't think it was Leothandria. They're going to go bad. I don't think it was the Midland Wilds. So yes, that's all you had to say. It's yeah, probably very likely that Romar also had a vision. And as you guys are there discussing, suddenly you guys see... Because uh, he would have seen me. Hexel walking towards you. He uh, he approaches. Uh, so it's a it's a little hairy over there, as you can probably tell. And as you guys look over his shoulder, you can see a bunch of scowls in your direction. Combing their hair. <laughs> <laughs> but What's the verdict? Aren't they bald? Which are still trying. They're not bald, are they? Uh, no. Oh, I thought you were talking about how they have like way less hair. They uh, a lot of them don't have beards. That's what it was. My bad. Um, but they're, uh, they're beard bald. <laughs> um. Uh, and yeah, they're kind of scowling at you guys. Well, the the verdict is we need we need some time to figure out what uh, what happened. A lot of them are concerned that you were all have some sort of influence, and uh, it, I I don't believe that that's true. I think that you guys are honest. Um, you you have bared your soul, uh, Gorbel. Shh. I, you did nothing, Gorbel. But <laughs> I, I, I look over at Gorbel. Wait, what? I trust that you, you, you are you are all honest people. Um, they, it is a difficult thing to suggest, but it would go a long way towards them trusting you. If they, we fucked off. <laughs> no, we want to figure out this situation, but there is a place that you guys can wait. That will make everyone feel safe. Uh, why do I get the feeling this place is going to have bars? It does not have bars. I'm more inclined. I, w- I will be honest, it is called the Deep Dungeon. Well, but, <laughs> but there I've been in some dungeons. It's, I don't mind. So, Hexel... Kind of mind. Has anybody been able to talk to Wormspine? Uh, we are going to, as a group, in the way that we do but they want to make sure that there's no influence so that there's no dishonesty. Is anyone going to bring up to Willem or I that he was carving a statue of Wormspine at the time, or are we saving that till later when it's not well, useful I mean, anymore? Well, I mean, we now chat with Hexel that you've about. metagamed it. <laughs> but is, if you are... Yeah, I, I promise <laughs> no, harm, dirty metagame. no harm will come to you. The you thing, must trust me. The thing I'm concerned about is that if you put us in the dungeon and we're not the baddies here, then the baddies going to be out loose and you all are going to just be like hanging out there and then they're going to sneak up and they're probably going to kill you. We will be on our guard. We did not suspect anything like this, but now that we know that there's something strange going on, we will be much more likely By to be By what means are you going to investigate this? We will talk to Balor. Can he talk to you? 
We have our ways of communicating with him. But that is their concern. We that have our ways of making him talk. <laughs> <laughs> but that is their what concern. What if it was one of your people? Mm-hmm. Then he's not going to be under protection at all. And someone's just going to kill him all the way. You have to understand the way that we do things here. I would, I, I, I must express. They are very untrusting of you because of this situation. Well, it would seem we're in a bit of a an impasse. What say you? It seems like you people are f- fair for the most part. You have uh, di- diplomatic minds for the for the most part. What would you say of a group made up of some of our group and some of your group? You can put the rest of us in the dungeon, and that way it's even keeled. The their concern is the influence. If if there is something, well, strange. give them her stag. He, that fucker can't influence they, a toadstool. They do not <laughs> trust her stag because of his disregard Andrew. for yeah. for wanting us to stop him from casting his spell. They're very on edge. So what about Tomar? I, I don't have any magical ability. So my the concern that they have is it's impossible to know. You could be lying. You could be casting some sort of influential spell. The what they ask is that we. I promise no harm will come to you. Are they that... We don't care about the harm to us. We're concerned about it being an unfair advantage to Baylor if somebody from your group is the perpetrator. So we need to, as, you know, diplomatically as possible, have... A fair mix. We want to conduct an investigation of our own. We will not allow that. Well, that doesn't seem fair at all. You, we, we're not going to a dungeon on good guys. Faith. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, no, not this, all of us. Okay, well, we can't. We can do listen this here. No, you can do. You, we we can, can't. A part of our group uh, will agree. We will go to the dungeon, but at least two of us need to stay with the group. Or uh, this they, can pick, some of, they can pick which, they, which party members. You can send a group of your most trusted warriors to come with us and we can question them. And vice versa. This was the agreement that they came to. That I had to... There was no agreement. This, I mean, I we're not... Oh, we're not... Situation. We are guests This is the here. agreement that right, we came we're, to. We are the out, <laughs> guys, we are the outsiders. Yeah. This is their Mike place. Can, listen to they this. This is how to they do, solve things. They wanted to do... We can a bit wait more in a extreme. Dungeon. This is what I was able what to... What did they want to do? They wanted to see you in the rock. They are very distrusting of you. Is there another way around? Because we can just leave, and then you won't have to worry about us anymore. That is another issue, is they do not want you to leave until we resolve this. Okay, so Hexel, how long do you think this is going to take to, to talk it out? Possibly in just a couple of hours. Uh, hours. Tomar, I say really? we just fucking go. I mean, can it we don't be, have time? Can't for it this. be as simple as him being like? Romar's you know, probably so this far is ahead who of us did at this it. point. End of story. Well, it, I don't know how long it will take. What? We have to do our own little investigation. Show us just this dungeon. Him. Show us the dungeon first, oh, guys. We don't have time for this. Do you? Do you guys not realize that they're? They're being as nice as they can. You go to the in dungeon this situation. Then. They can be nice all they want. You can't just roll into someone's home. No, I totally understand that. And just say, "Well, no." Imagine if it was our place. Like, we're not gonna just be like, "Yeah, strangers come in and like figure shit out." There That's fine. But we're gotten people in the dungeon. But we're also on a mission here. We need to. We can get out if we, if we yeah, need Yeah, I'm to. pretty we confident can we can out. escape a dungeon. All right, Hexel, it's what's... a dungeon would go a long way towards us trusting. Exactly. Okay. At this point, I don't. Let... We need really to know that, that we we're willing care to if you trust us or not. We have something that we need to do. I there's somebody. Remember, there's, we have an av- possible adversary who's but... weeks ahead of us at this point, and we don't know what he's doing. And we need to get to where we need to go to do the shit that we need to do. The thing you need to understand is that you came here, you intruded on our way of life. Well, and now you came this, here where the Soul Forge is. And, That's not our fault. And now this has happened. And we are trying to make sense of this situation. I hear you. Can we not agree? Yeah. I caught that. 
can we not agree that this is that their mistrust of us is it's totally justified. Yeah, it's totally yes. fair. Yeah, absolutely. I Nobody's disagreeing with that. So can I don't give a shit about that, though. dick and arguing so, with them and just, like, we, we give them we a little bit to, to look into this. We were going to be here for a little bit this. longer, anyway. No. Are you so, kidding? They want to put us in a dungeon for question mark amount the, of time. Is the dungeon going to be, like, sealed off, or is it just, like, a place where we can go, you know, on our own free will I mean, and it's called out? a dungeon. It is quite large. It is. A, it is there are many hallways... There are many rooms down there. Uh, you will be allowed free reign inside. Of is the, the exit out back to here going to be locked? There is no door. Is there like a creature or something? I feel like there's a catch here. The catch is that it is only accessible with our abilities to move through the rock. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, Hexel, mm. I am putting a lot of trust into you right now. Because. I mean, guys, you know. Willem, oh my goodness. I understand. I can get us plan, out Willem? if we need to. Oh, you think there's some trees down there? We, I both can get of you, us out if both we need of you to. Both of you, shut up. Stop arguing. Let's go to the dungeon. You're we'll not look real bad. Would it be amenable if, if, if we sent someone with you just as, so that you know it is in good faith? That is what we... Mm-hmm. Suggested to you what? in the first place. But not, not that guy. No, no, he's a dick. He is so rude. What is his deal? Uh, what do you mean, send someone anything. with us? That's like we don't want the to... sheriff putting the deputy in the in the <coughs> cell with you. What do you mean? No, essentially, there's no good faith there. Essentially, that we will go willingly, but know hmm. that if we absolutely want to, we can get out. I, I, we're know going this. there. But you, you must entrust uh, that. You know that we're not going to force our way out. I personally believe that. But there is a limit to how long we are waiting to stay there. And this I understand. So, I, we will go there and we will wait your word, but that waiting has a time limit. I must, I must be honest. And with this you. will, it will speed up the process if we are also able to investigate what is going on. May I speak? Now you can speak. <laughs> I personally, I trust Balor's judgment, and I have met, I have, you know, I've met you, and as I said, I I trust you, and I think that there's a reason that you are here, and I do not think it was for this. So, I will make sure that you are, I, I, I trust that you can escape whenever you would like, and I know this. I'm trying to be a peacekeeper here. I believe that your what you are doing is important, and I don't want to waylay you longer than necessary, but you also have to understand this is a situation that has happened, and I, we've got to resolve this in the best way possible. So that I want you to know that you have my trust. That's fine. Can I we say, appreciate that. Can I say a quick word all. to the group you, to express our compliance? Yes. Do you think that's going to help? I I don't think it would hurt. Okay. And the, they're all Excuse still me, staring at you guys. <clears throat> guys, we understand the current situation, and it is quite unfortunate. We, as well as you, would love to know what is going on, and we want to get to the bottom of it as well. So we we are willing to put our trust in you and go down to the the deep room to wait this out and enable a speedy investigation. And there's some like muttering and some nodding and a couple of them look at each other kind of like, mm, yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty reasonable. That's but the kind of look they give each other. Thank you for, for being understanding. I know this is very, this is very tense, especially with, with us just arriving. So thank you. And there's there's some grumble of uh, you know, agreement. You can tell though that Snari is still just like glaring daggers at you. Like he definitely thinks there's something amiss. Can't wait for you to be our best fucking friend, Snari. <laughs> he just continues to glare. Sorry, Snari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sn- Snari. <laughs> Hexel, um, he he turns back to you guys. That was that was well said, Gorble. Um, I will. 
uh, I will hand pick the people that will be with you. They will not be aggressive to you. They will not be rude. I will make sure that Snarri is nowhere near you or any of his clan. Ah, bring Snarri into the mix, he baby. He's a clan? He's, we all have clans. Okay. Do you guys spell it with a C? He, <laughs> yes. Um, Good. So he, uh, <clears throat> he walks over to the group and he hand selects three um, different dwarves. And then you notice that they're... Uh, two more dwarves or three more dwarves come with um, and Hexel kind of leads you guys through a, a passageway. It is, it is this way. Um, it, uh, it, it might feel uncomfortable at first because you will have to pass through the wall, but don't be scared. It will not hurt you. We get to do that trick now? Well, we assisted. And uh, he leads you down a long hallway and like eventually... An Kinda, <laughs> and eventually is it, he, is it diagonal? <laughs> it's not diagonal. Okay, it's straight shot. But uh, you can see there's offshoots and stuff. But eventually you get to the end, and there's this solid, like luminescent sheen on a wall, crafted. It looks almost um, like iridescent. It, iridescent. Yes, that would be the word. Like um, the Mines of Moria door. Sort of. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily seem magical though. It just seems like a really rare stone. Like a holographic Pokemon card. Yeah. Not Jade. It is a Jade. It's not Jade. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lazuli. I like that you called the fuck. Out of that. <laughs> Good job. Right. I love you guys. So we will just be setting our hands on you, and we will walk through the walls to get to the area. Is that amenable? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So each of them put a hand on you guys' shoulders, and you guys all walk through the walls and it's a very strange feeling you feel as though you're like walking through spider webs almost Ugh. and yeah it's it's kind of odd but you walk for almost 30 seconds through solid what you can only surmise is solid rock and it messes with your vision a little bit it almost feels like you're you've got con- like constant dirt being pushed into your eyes and then eventually you guys are on the other side and you're in this massive cavernous area Lots of benches in this little uh, circular zone that you find yourself, but you can see maybe 150 feet ahead of you this huge hallway, 80 foot ceilings. It's about 30 feet wide, and it's very carefully uh, crafted. There's pillars, there's nice solid rock, and Herstag, you can see that in the wall are chunks of jade. <gasps> Mm-hmm. All right, we will leave you here for now. Oh. <clears throat> but we will. Who's talking? Uh, Hexel. Hexel. <clears throat> Real quick, can I ask you one question? Yes, you may. Who among you would stand the most to gain from Balor's death? I, I, I don't want to say anything. And he looks at his his companions that might stir the pot. But I'm going to look at the other dwarves. Do they have any expression on their faces? They look a little confused by his statement, but I have my own suspicions as to what it could be. Well, just keep that in mind when you're investigating. Good fucking question. And I, then think about what we stand to gain from Balor's death. I, I, as I said, I do not think that it was you. I'm just I saying, think we have more to gain from you all getting out of here than anything else. Just trying to give you a little nugget of help there yeah. while maybe, we're waiting. Maybe spread that question about. That, yeah, that was a really good point. Um, do you guys have any enemies down here? Mm. I mean, I, is, I heard something about monsters, right? There are monsters. They will not be in this area. Do not worry. Okay. But there, there are monsters in the Beltarak. Well, I, I meant like as possible... You know, ones who could have done this. Do they have the capacity for scheming? Or making it into your camp. Do you have protection? We do have protection set up. I don't... It would be very surprising. This definitely seems like a targeted attack. They have have machine guns that are powered by uh, diamonds. (laughs) Well, who doesn't? (laughs) There is is some in-clan fighting at times, but I don't know if anyone would go to this extreme. So, uh... Herstag, maybe, uh, I, I know you've been holding out for some jade. 
but uh, maybe butter them up a little bit before you maybe start. Uh, oh just yeah, going nuts. yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, Hexel, I didn't know if I had to trank you or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hexel, we appreciate you, man. Thank You're you. a cool guy. Thank you. Thank you. I extend a hand out to Hexel. He, shake. sh- he shakes your hand in the dwarven style. Forearms grasp. I will do the same. He does the same to you, Hersteg. Be on guard. Protect yourselves. I will. Like a lot. I've, I I will. Okay. All right. I go in for a little hug. <laughs> he looks a little confused. <laughs> it's how we shake hands out there. Oh, and he he like. <laughs> She hug. grabs his butt. <laughs> <laughs> he, hug, he hugs back, but it's like, like, like awkward and, and firm. <laughs> and as I'm down there giving him a hug, I'm like, who do you suspect? <laughs> I get, I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh my God, do you promise? I promise. Okay, bye. And bye. <laughs> and, and break. <laughs> and he, he nods to one of the dwarves. It kind of looks like kind of a young Kartagar. And uh, that guy nods back and he goes and he sits down on a bench and he just like props his feet up a little bit, crosses his arms and closes his eyes He's and uh, he looks back at you guys this is Kirid he is uh, my cousin and he is of a like mind so he will be here if you need anything, ask him Kirid? Kirid yeah, Kirid <laughs> okay alright, I leave you um, I will make sure this is swift be safe, man. Be real safe. I will. I will be safe. Thought for sure you're gonna hit him with be aggressive. <laughs> be, be be aggressive. And all all the dwarves <laughs> except for Kirid um, fade back into the wall. All right, kill him. <laughs> Kirid, Kirid looks up. Oh my God, uh, I'm just a, kidding. It's a joke. It's we do it a lot. Poorly oh, timed joke. It's, it's a good joke. <laughs> is, is there room on the bench next to Kirid? Yeah, it's a pretty big bench. I'm going right. to walk over to the bench, mm-hmm. and instead of sitting down, I'm going to uh, prop my feet up mm-hmm. on the seat of the bench and start doing decline push-ups. <laughs> okay. Well, I know that you're probably adverse to being locked away as it were um but as far as we know there are most likely way of finding the soul forge um they would be a yeah. terrible enemy to have mm-hmm. while we're in here and you guys mm-hmm. when you both arrived at wolves rest you you humored us by coming along quietly without causing a stir yeah, I think you both remember the interrogations. It goes a long way, I think. <laughs> I mean, we I don't think we would handle those interrogations remotely as well as they did. So <laughs> Oh um, absolutely I mean, not. Yeah. I feel like yeah. like Snarry is definitely cut from the same cloth as us. Yeah. That's probably why we don't get along. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Snarry like. We're gonna be best friends. Snarry eventually. because of his demeanor to me seems least likely to have been involved with what happened because mm-hmm. he seems the most on edge and surprised by what's happening and obviously suspicious of us because we're the outlier. Okay, well maybe mm-hmm. he took an acting class or something, Tomar. I mean we he are who the accused obvious. it, doosed it. <laughs> we are the obvious choice. What were you guys doing? We were with Hexel. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so aside from being a super nice guy, Hexel is also the guy who does the little, the clinking and the chipping away to make the statues for the dead ones. Yeah, so, Lone told me that somebody absconded with Maria's corpse. Yeah, that's a that's a mystery here. Which um, happened before any of us arrived, and I look over at Kirid. <laughs> he he just like closes his eyes and goes and <laughs> lays down, and shrugs his shoulders. We know you're listening. Over there. <laughs> I stop <laughs> mid push up and look at him like, yeah, that's interesting. Huh? <laughs> so Hexel was showing us his his craft, and he was getting to work on one. And he was telling us all about how how these like the faces just kind of appear for him and then he keeps chiseling away and he was teaching me some chisel moves and it was a great time but a face started to appear in the statue he was working on and it looked a lot like worm spine Mm -hmm. like a whole lot yep weird 
but also makes sense if he was dead. But another thing that happened, he was still working on his face, and then all of a sudden it just, like, cracked up and crumpled to the floor. I stop and look at Tomar. Hexel said that has never happened before. Not once. And I trust him because he's very good at his craft. (laughs) So, Kirid... Um, do you usually make these statues when someone has died already? I, uh, I don't make the statues at all. I don't. But you gift. know how it works. It, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's uh, he he see, sees a vision in his dream, and then and then when he he's done, that person is usually passed. It happens, I think, at the same time. Hexel specifically. Yes. No one else. He's the only one with the gift, and well. His brother had the gift, but his brother is gone. Both Did his brother his carve brothers. his own statue? It was like, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> As he was completing it. Heart attack. No, everyone suspected that his. Well, so I must say, Hexel had two brothers. He is he's one of one of three triplets, and as you'd know, triplets in the dwarven society is a is could be both a very good or a very bad omen, mm. mm-hmm. and. One of his brothers died when he was young. Their father carved that statue himself. But his other brother, Draxel, he... (laughs) Sorry. He, uh, disappeared. And we all thought perhaps he was dead, but there was no statue made of him. It could be a mistake, but... How often do mistakes happen with this? Never. Yeah. (laughs) So... You guys are superstitious about triplets? No, more so that there's like a like a power vacuum. Like who who takes up the next spot, the next who becomes the elder of the clan basically? Cuz if they're all the same age then like what do you do? Like they can start their own branches this, of the clan. Sure, but what's this either very good or very bad things happen with triplets? Well, some of them war with each other over who controls the great clan. Hmm. Interesting. Or they form their own clan under a new name or anything like that. Also, side footnote, Drexel, if you guys haven't seen True Romance, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to interrupt. So, no. um, What's his name? Kirid. Kirid. Um, is this Jade up for grabs? <laughs> <laughs> he looks. Uh, I, I suppose the only thing I can see that would be wrong with that is if it messes with the structural integrity. Please don't mm. compromise the architecture while we're in the dungeon. Right. Egg, right. Please, please. But please. you can see down that hallway, there's a ton of little spots of glittering jade in the wall. Tons. I don't, even know if they would, <laughs> I don't even know if they would notice it. You could probably make a check to see if it's the structural yeah. wall or not. <laughs> you look um, for a stud. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Um, Metric fuck tons. Yeah. Do you mind if I use a spell just to? It's called stone shape, and it just kind of. I can manipulate stone. I just kind of pull some out. I, you can I'm, manipulate I'm looking, stone. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. He looks very shocked and pleased. Show me. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, f- I'm gonna do it right in here. Um, I've been looking for this jade for a for a magical component for a spell. Um, that's really nice. So, yeah, we can look around for a spot of jade that won't. You know, if it if I take it out, it won't cause the whole dungeon to collapse but I'm only looking for like a little bit I just need enough to make a crown Uh, okay Uh, do you need any help nah okay I mean Uh, well he looks a little crestfallen when you say no 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 no. um yeah if you you know a lot about like you know structural Integrity of I, I do, yeah. yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm really good. Why don't you take him with you and have him look at some jade with you? Could you help uh, me look out for like a good spot where? Oh yeah, absolutely. You did. I, I, let's go. All right, cool. And you guys go down the hallway. 
Penwin, what are your thoughts about all this? You seem kind of quiet. It's a lot to take in, man. Um, <laughs> I love me. Uh, <laughs> Penwin, are, are you still stoned? <laughs> I mean, we're surrounded by stone. Um, <laughs> so yes. Oh, so man, t- that we're all kind of stoned, you know, around the stone. Anyway, um. <laughs> you guys both like Hexel, right? I saw you hug him, and I've never seen you hug anyone other than like she Penwin. Like, I yeah, think Gorbel has really a crush. Along. Mm. He's a good friend. Wait, You've I'm known him for Jade. maybe hours. Yeah, well, we opened up to each other very quickly. And Do you think it's odd that you were able to open up so easily and quickly to this stranger? He's not a stranger. He's my friend, Hexel. Um, <laughs> no. What do you think of him? He seems pretty cool. He His stone shape, or his statue making thing was like... I don't know how he did it that fast. That was wild. Well, I don't know about you guys. He's on our side. To me, that seems like the exact kind of person that would be the one who did the thing. He wasn't there. He was with us. Is it loud and echoey in here? Can I hear what Yeah, it's saying? very, very loud. We're talking Ooh, are the we are nice? obviously talking the close acoustics to each other. The acoustics are very nice, but yeah. Oh, so are you I'm trying mean, to keep it quiet? Yes. That's why I said for him to go with you and look at the stones. <laughs> <laughs> but you would, yeah. Like, your voices aren't carrying that much, but uh, it is a very echoey place. And you notice that this place is completely covered in, like, Du- like uh, dust because it's been so long probably since Except anyone's for been a security there. camera that's like right above <laughs> us. <laughs> like, oh, Alright, I was gonna offer my two cents but I guess I can't hear them. Jeff Grenade. Um, is anyone down some HP at all? Has anyone heard at all? <laughs> is anyone down? <laughs> What's HP? From my experience, the people that um, are sly and are trying to cause problems are the ones that ingratiate themselves to you and are more trustworthy. But I introduced myself to him. Yeah, they make you feel like it was your idea. Also, how many friends have I had that are, like, not baddies? From what you've told me, the guy has control over life and death by this statue-making process. He doesn't control it. He just... It comes to him. Yeah, Someone he has just to started make this doing stuff, it. Tomar. He didn't even know what he was doing. He didn't know who it was, and then he was like, whoa. Did you check to see if he was telling the truth in any way? I mean, it seemed pretty Or did you just believe I him? I listened with my ears. Exactly. He could just be lying. Are you suspecting Hexel? Yes. Why? Because he was in the process of carving the guy who was dying on the floor, and when I spared him from dying, the statue stopped working. So he had to direct... He doesn't know who it is, though, when he starts. That's what he said to you. So People have the capacity says. to lie to you. Yes, but I don't know why you think that that is a lie. Pinwin, how much do you weigh? Mm, I don't know. I haven't weighed myself in a very long time. How would you weigh yourself anyway? <laughs> Five coconuts. Um, four, <laughs> you know, <laughs> four we, stone. We take some gliders and we put some on either side. Come here. Just, like, we have increments. It's fine. <laughs> it's a long process. What's a glider? You haven't met a glider still? Oh, I think I forget this on purpose. I start, <laughs> setting. I start spider walking up the wall uh, about six feet or so and I stop and I tell Penguin, come here. You know I can't walk up there. I just come (laughs) here. (laughs) Like, closer? (laughs) Yes, come to me. Can I, like, jump your up a little bit? Is that what you mean by close? That's closer. Are you still standing where you are? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Would you please come over here? All right, I'll I'll walk over. (laughs) And then uh, I'm going to, like, bend my knees backwards and, like, extend my arms to try and grab Pinwin. Okay. And then I'm going to use Pinwin as a weight to do crunches. (laughs) Okay. okay, um, All right. So you start crunching backwards crab crunching with Pinwin as your feet are propped up against the wall. (laughs) This is so fun. (laughs) I've worked to learn to do this. This is just exciting. (laughs) You know what? 
no one answered if they were hurt, but I'm just going to take it out anyway. And I'm just going to take out my loot and start playing a song of rest while you're crunching with me. And this song of rest <laughs> carries down the hallway past you, her stag and Kirid, and all the way down into the massive empty hallway beyond. All I'm saying, Gorville, is that now that this has happened, we need to treat everyone like they're a suspect. I just find it really fucking funny, Tomar, that you can make your your gnome friends like Rory and no insight done. You I'm just nodding. thrust them on the <laughs> spot. But I meet somebody who I connect with and all of a sudden I'm getting played. She has a point. But let's look at it everybody. Hold on. Shut up. Salty. In none of those circumstances was a gnome randomly dead on the floor with his throat slit and bleeding out. And there was a mystical statue connection with the spirit that was causing him to die. And let's just it take a look at your track record on. about who you've opened up to in the past. What? <laughs> who? Well... <laughs> um, what's, I think what's her he's name? Being Lila. Salty. Lila. <laughs> yep. yep oh my god! There. You haven't had a bad relationship in your life. What's his face? The feral. Well, I didn't open up. We didn't even date. Do you think it's? And where did you even hear that rumor? Do you think I forget? <laughs> do you think it's rational to just cross him off the list of suspects right off the bat? Not what I'm saying. All right, then we're in agreement. But. I don't want you hating on him and assuming that he's doing I'm something I'm not hating shitty. on anyone. I think anyone in there is just as capable of doing this. But right now, he's at the top of my list. Hexel seems like a pretty pretty cool guy that uh, has some amazing abilities that just happened to... I who, love who that guy, guys, Hexel. <laughs> who did you guys expect? Like, who did you think was doing the carving of the the dead people? Lars seemed like a good guy, too. No, he didn't. He was a dick since we were kids. He was fine. No. Jalen wasn't. But Lars never did anything to us. Well, Lars he did. Sucked. Lars was one of Jalen's followers. Yeah, but he didn't. Did he directly? He was the crab and goyle. He, he was. was he was the. Per, yeah, he was like the crab. One of the crab and goyles. He was the one that uh, Willem said get fucked to. Mm. Willem remembered that. <laughs> but still, point taken. We don't really have any concrete evidence. Seems like an upstanding dude, but if he were just, you know, by perchance, you know, the mastermind behind this, he's doing a really great fucking job. Hiding in plain sight, taking our side, and then sequestering us in a dungeon while he convinces the rest of them to murder us. Hmm. For all we know, this power... I hope not. I've never heard of this power, hmm. by the way. This is brand new. Well, how did you think this was happening? I thought people were naturally dying, and then they would make a statue to inter their corpse. That's how most people do it. This is uh, not a natural well, thing. Well, most people don't walk through rock wall either. Yeah, but I'm not going to assume that that's how that works. I'd be an idiot if I did that. Well, it's silly to make any kind of a Or clairvoyant. I'm just going to I'm going to maintain my suspicion. I don't care how much you I mean, like him. What do you think his motive would be? I what guess what is mean? anyone's motive? We don't know that. We haven't had the opportunity to question I anybody. feel like you're trying we to just protect your brother them, again. We didn't get to know that. No, I I'm sucks. I think Romar's just as likely and to have done it. I will disintegrate him on the spot <laughs> this time. <laughs> and you better not collect his dust. I'll collect whoever, whoever's dust I want I to will, collect. I will get down there immediately and just Blow it all away. <laughs> at this point, I stop curling Pinwin and I change positions so that I'm looking at the floor mm -hmm. and then I hold Pinwin by the arms or by the legs because you're playing your loot. Mm -hmm. Hold Pinwin by the legs and then I like bend forward so that we make like a 90 degree angle and then I start doing like back lunges or whatever <laughs> uh, while holding Pinwin by the legs. <laughs> and Pinwin's still playing. Yep. Maybe with like a woo <laughs> and when we're switching. And, it. and you notice that Shadow is just kind of plop down watching you just <laughs> <laughs> That being said, I agree. We do not have to blindly trust anybody. But I am not going to be a dick to my man he Hexel. Nobody's being a dick to Hexel. 
Don't look at me like that. I'm I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't remotely like a dick to Hexel. Mm. I'm not gonna hug him. Okay. I have something <laughs> to say to him. Um, I think even Romar, he's equally a culprit and also equally not involved at all. Like, we don't know what his motivation is. I mean, do you think it's good, though? I don't know. He, is, he hasn't really He's been, been here a really mm-hmm. long time, so there's got to be some reason why it's taking so long for him to do whatever he's doing. What if Wormspine is bad? What if it's a good thing that he was killed? Well, we'll find we out. We don't know anything about anybody. Right. Yeah, that sucks. We just met them. The nature in which he was being killed is shady. Regardless of I think how good or bad is pretty he is. Much always shady. Yeah, yeah. Would this have been a short rest? I mean, it's right now? C- that was no. going to be my question it's as well. Cu- you guys are currently short resting, but you guys would have been short resting pretty much the entire time you've been in with the Karagar. Okay. I'll take it. Yay. I'm going right. to try and see Kyrick. Before that, real quick, I'm going to try and see if Maria can hear me. Okay. I'm going to try and call out her name. Maria. <laughs> um, you don't hear anything. Okay. She did not even come out to scare me yet. <laughs> and it's not going to work. Mm, it might. Mm-mm. You do that notice that psychology you thing? guys are in one small section of a uh, at the end of this hallway. If you guys would like to explore, you definitely can. All right, Kirik. Yes. How does that it's one Kirid. look? Kirid? It's okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Kirid. <laughs> How does that vein look to uh, you? Uh, this one, it could go either way. Let's uh, let's move down a little bit. This looks like a better section. Any kind of <laughs> <Nice> points. <you. laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to trust your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> and while her stack's like... Mm. Kirit's behind him with a <laughs> hammer, just like. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're definitely spoiling this for when Seth actually does that. <laughs> now he's going to be like, well, I can't do that now because that'd be obvious. <laughs> <laughs> That's never stopped me before. <laughs> but they twist. Uh, um, yeah, and you find a section. He points out a section. I, th- I think this would be good. All right. Yeah, that does look good. There's a bunch of it's like it's nice a sexy and, vein just <laughs> pack, packed in there, you know, just looking great. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, so how do you do this? So this is I'm gonna show you something here, buddy. <laughs> and then Herstag clubs him. <laughs> <laughs> right, get out, everyone out. Now's our chance. <laughs> Escape time! <laughs> Bodega! <laughs> Just start hitting the walls. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you I could get us out of here. We just all, we just all grab <laughs> Kirid. <laughs> we just all grab Kirid by a limb and we just fucking like draw and quarter him. <laughs> just running in different directions. <laughs> He's just like, ah! <laughs> all right, Kirid. Check this out. My eyes are going to glow. Okay. My hand's glowing. And I'm just going to reach into the wall and pull out a crown of jade. <gasps> so it's already shaped as a crown? Yes. That is really cool. Was that in the wall? <laughs> and it, w- it, was, it was just a vein before. And now it is a crown. Whoa. And her stick goes... And now I'm king. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a little symbol of worker rag on kind of like a, a square um, piece on the front. And I'm just going to move my hood back, set it down on my greasy hair. <laughs> thought you always have your... Oh, you just said you put your hood down. You lying piece of shit. I never put my hood down. How does it look? Hersek has his hood down. Oh my god! Someone yes. needs some shampoo. Wow. Oh, I was gonna say, here, splash this in his face. <laughs> Offense. It, it looks really good. Now that you have the crown, are you gonna keep the hood down? 
you didn't see this. <laughs> we can't like see you around the corner. Hey, is that her stack with the It's a straight shot, the so oh, they could they could definitely see it. Oh, so they there aren't like little they didn't, hallways or anything. They didn't There's know. a big, massive one that goes on for a while, but you guys are in like a little circle area at the end of it. Can so we see the end of the hallway? No, it's too long. They probably wouldn't have seen specific. I mean, I guess they would have seen the light. Yeah, I roll to see if I magic. to see if I can see her stag's hood down. And you have down. a thing around your head. I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm still doing back You're extensions. Blind. Some of you may have been able to see his hood down and the crown on his head, but my, my daggers accidentally fell into my eyes. You guys are also <laughs> deep in conversation right now. <laughs> They're just sticking out. <laughs> I'm Sam Neil from Event Horizon. <laughs> I rolled 20. I always saw that. You see it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel accomplished. I've been looking for Jade for a really long time, what man. You, you have no what idea. What are you going to do with it? You just going to wear it? <clears throat> well, yeah. I need this this Jade crown to, to cast one of my most powerful spells. What spell? It's called... Um, let me it's called do you not remember what it's called? Uh, it allows me to to take the form of very powerful creatures. Whoa, like what? Your like mother. stuff that I've seen before. What have you seen? Mm, I've seen a few things. There was this really big, like, uh, well, there was a dragon huh, that we fought. A dragon. It was like a poisonous dragon. Whoa, you could become a poison dragon? I could. Whoa. Um... <laughs> Or like uh, there was this big monster that uh, that attacked Wolves Rest this one time. What's a Came Wolves Rest? Wolves Rest is a, a town. You like like our town? Yeah, yeah. And uh, just this big old monster just came out of the lake, <sighs> and uh, we ended up defeating it. Whoa! Yeah. Are you going to turn into the monster from the lake? I mean, I could. I I could try. I don't know what power level it was at or anything. Will you die if, if you're not in the water, though? That might be a concern. <laughs> don't do it here, then. Yeah, definitely not. Are you going to turn into an, a monster now? No. Should I back up? No, 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 no. I mean, maybe later I can show <laughs> you. Um, he just nods. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you later. Okay, promise? Promise. I'll have to, I might have to come back to show you. <laughs> and he's like, come back. You're never leaving. Yeah. I'll, 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 need, I'll need to sleep on it and, you know, commune with nature. Do you have to sleep with to, the crown when you sleep? <clears throat> no. But I have to, I'll have to, you know, commune with the nature spirits and stuff to oh. kind of gain that power. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, really man. cool. We don't. We're not able to do anything like that down here. We could just walk through the walls. Well, walking through the walls—that's um, that's like a very druidic yeah, but type every, of thing. Everybody do. can do that down here. Well, I mean that's true, but that's a really good natural gift. Do you think I would have. like it outside of the Builder Rock? It's a pretty nice place. There's lots of sunlight. Um, have you ever seen sunlight before? No. Oh. I feel like it would burn my skin and my hair off. I'm, yeah, I'm wondering how you would do in sunlight. Probably um, real bad. Yeah. Just okay. imagining the end of powder. <laughs> 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 I mean, well, I guess I could create some sunlight for you and see how you like it. Could you? After I sleep on it. Okay. But I need to, you, sleep? you know... The comfy crown, you sleep with it, is good. Yeah. On today's episode of The Big Comfy Crown. <laughs> you sound really interested in this druid stuff. Yes. Maybe you want to be a like an underground druid. Yes, I like that. That'd be cool. It, I have no... It, I'm still... They, they make fun of me because I'm still young and I haven't figured out what I want to do, but that sounds like something I want to do. Wouldn't that be badass? How do I do it? <laughs> I well... Do a rap face. I mean, you guys are already really connected with your your surroundings down here. You can walk through stone. That's you've got the makings of a of a druid. Uh, Any already? That means everybody could become a druid. I just want to be the druid. So you want to be the only druid? Yeah. Just keep all the power. Then, then they'll have to respect me to be like Kieran. 
He's, he's yeah. the guy that knows what's up. Then they'll, <laughs> then they'll get what's coming to them, you know. Or they'll fear your power and overpower you and murder you. You can't hear this. <laughs> oh, but they can hear our conversation. <laughs> they okay. couldn't. And if anyone tried to murder you, you could just kill them. But with your druidic power, do you kill they people? They wouldn't stand a chance. Uh, <laughs> all, pre- all the time. I mean, pretty often, honestly. But uh, he takes a, he takes a step back. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, we're we're heroes. We're killing bad guys. Remember those monsters I told you about? Yeah, we kill things that threaten the the common folk. He seems a little suspicious. Yeah. You change your story so much. You said you kill people, <laughs> and now you kill monsters. Well, maybe I don't want to be a druid. Run. It seems bad. Run. <laughs> It's a it's a good life. I mean, you learn how to to make berries. It's a good life. You end up in a dungeon being accused of murder that you didn't commit, <laughs> and then admit to several murders, <laughs> <laughs> none well, of which you're being imprisoned for. I'm I'm sorry for creeping you out there, Kieran. I, I I would be lying if I didn't say that I have killed people, but you know. They all had it fucking coming. He, he's not saying that. That's the thing. <laughs> he's not. He just, he kind of looks like, like kind of crestfallen again. And he just, he like lowers his gaze and he just walks back to that bench that he was on before. And he sits down on it. Mm. Man, you failed that social encounter. <laughs> hey, Hersig. I lost his admiration. Hersig. Can you make Shadow talk now? I think it'd be really fun to hear him sing. I feel like he'd be so good at it. Uh. Yeah, you think it's a good time? Uh, I don't know when a good time would be. I'd, I'd be interested. I mean, we have some downtime. It'd be nice to talk to him, see how he's doing. I guess I could just, like, do speak with animals. But I mean the other thing Then I don't even have to do that Then he's just doing He's just talking And then we all can talk to him Yeah Yeah if you want Man. What do you think Shadow? Are you ready to talk? <laughs> uh, Gorbel what are you doing right now? Mm. Pouting Pouting Okay A little bit Tomar what are you doing? Not pouting Because I'm a grown up <laughs> He's definitely pouting but what, physically, what are you guys doing? I'm just casually leaning against the wall. Okay. Waiting. Poutily. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to rub it. Poutacious manner. Gonna, thinking about how much I'm going to rub it in Gerbil's face when Hexel's <laughs> the obvious one who did it. <laughs> are, Willem, are we still crunching? Uh, no. At this point, uh, what we're doing is uh, like a little bit of yoga. Okay. That's fair. But still on, still on the wall using the gravity to our advantage. Um, right now, I have you in warrior pose. Sick. And I'm <laughs> holding you by the ankle with one of my, my outstretched arm that's in front of me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm in the warrior pose, too, and just still looting. <laughs> just the whole time. Like, the, the headstock of your loot is, like, inches away from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That sounds great. All right. Uh, Pinwin, I'm going to go and look at my mag- magical spell chest thing and then I'll be back and we can do the whole say that again this is so magical spell chest yeah I got a magical spell chest what are you talking about um oh whoops (laughs) (laughs) we would uh we would need uh a good eight hours to cast that spell on shadow well but like do we start it now and then it comes like it happens in eight hours? Uh, Is that what you to, mean? Needs to be a ongoing thing. Oh, it's like charging. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, we don't know how long we're gonna be here. Yeah. If my mm-hmm. suspicions are correct, we'll probably die here. So you got plenty of time. Zyko, you've cool. been really cool. quiet with what's going on. Do you know anything about what happened? Nope. I just I would, I saw the the statue. It was uh, it's it's like Gobo said. It cracked all of a sudden. It uh. Went to bits. I'm really interested in this dungeon, though. I haven't been anything like this. What do you think of Hexel? Mm. He 
seems all right. I should like I, Hexel a lot. Should I not like Hexel? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know him that well. We'll see. So, you guys want to, like, play a game, or? Like what? I don't know. It's, it's big down here. We can... Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Sheep Hair. Sheep Hair? Yeah. Where's that? Little village, uh, n- n- northeast. Just a bit outside of Applewood. Oh. Just a sheep bear away from Well, what the games board. did you play there? Uh, l- l- leave the village, never return. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, we would we would just go explore. Do you want to explore? I guess. I mean, I'll look around with you for now. Okay. I'd like to see what's in here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's ex- explore. Like, explore us. You guys are exploring? All right, Garble, do you want to hold his hand so he doesn't get lost? <laughs> <laughs> he puts his hand out. Oh, grass fit. It's very Garble. clammy. I, I really blew it with uh, Kirid. He what? was He was like, he was, um... Are you saying this really loudly, or... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it seemed like he was going to be my new best friend, and then all of a sudden he got creeped out because I said I'd kill people. So if you could try to... I mean, typically I don't lead with that. Um, <laughs> I mean, so I yeah, got... that that was a, a slight misstep, but I think you can come back from that. Is there any way you could help me? I got real tired trying to <laughs> patch that up. You look exhausted, right? Yeah, now. yeah, it takes how did, a bit out of me. How did you? Did you just say I killed people to him? I said I'd be lying if I. Didn't say I killed people. <laughs> How did that come up in conversation? <laughs> I don't know, man. He was talking about, like... He's real crafty. Well, this isn't even a social tip, but just a general tip. If we're in a dungeon under suspicion of killing someone, the last thing you should probably be talking about is how you killed someone. <laughs> That's just a life tip, Hurston. <laughs> You chew on that a little bit. <laughs> um, Do you want to come with us while we look around? I'll chew on it. Um, well, I want to look you... at my spell chest here. Are you staying behind then? Just for maybe a couple minutes. We'll start slow. Maybe just small talk a little bit with him. I feel really awkward. What kind of things <laughs> what kind of things do you have in common? Because clearly the killing thing is not a common interest. He seemed to like the magic you were doing, right? Yeah, he was even really excited about maybe learning to become a druid. Can you teach him like a trick or something? I think he'd be scared if I used magic around him. Show him the flowers! How did you... Show him a good berry. How did you become a druid? You aren't born with that power, are you? Mm Mm-mm. So somebody gave it to you? I mean, I probably wouldn't be as good of a teacher as Glode, but... I mean, we could start with... I mean, it would take a long time. Lots of meditation. I was about to explain the process, but then he got all creeped out by me. I don't know. Yeah, Hersig seems pretty humble. He's he's never been one to gloat. Every time I've told people that I killed other people, it was to specifically make them uncomfortable. So I've never so that's not I've a... never tried to win them over after. So that's a tricky thing. Have you ever done that, Gorbel? I mean, I've used it to like flirt a little bit. Oh. Okay. You had a weird way of flirting. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the person, Tomar. People are different and have different interests. <laughs> I feel like I'm this a pretty is... normal guy. I like to knife somebody. <laughs> walks on the beach are nice. Uh, I'm so hard right now. <laughs> well, it's just a regular thing. Like, you know, someone, some outsider, you know, with a bunch of fire comes trampling through your druid grove. And you gotta put them down, you know? Like, you, you try to convince them, and you're not that good at talking, so then you gotta kill them. <laughs> it's just a thing that happens. We get that, but you probably shouldn't be advertising it. Right. There's I mean, a, not to him, at least. There's a part of you that 
and I don't know if anyone's addressed it before, that sometimes lo- seems to go overboard. Like, I remember specifically when we were trying to rescue the king, you were gleefully lightning bolting people and laughing uh, every time. And you're no, you have no qualms with whirlwinding people. Maybe ease up on the killing. I personally bit. don't think that's a personality flaw. But she's willing to just slap her hands together and disintegrate somebody without even talking to them. Yeah, first, someone so. who is trying to kill a friend of mine. Let me well, you, her stack. At the time, they were just floating towards us, and then you disintegrated. Well, them. let me ask you a question. They were wreaking havoc. A very, very important question. <clears throat> Have yes. you ever? Yes, I will go out with you. <laughs> have you ever Wink. <laughs> wielded lightning? I've wielded fire. Doesn't it feel cool? It does. Makes it feel kind of like a. I don't know. It's like it's almost like godlike power. Are you guys gonna start a club again? No. What are you talking about? I want to be in a club. I don't you remember the club thing? What was it? The the, the magic, magic blood club. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the I was adorable in that. and psycho. Yeah, that was them. Yeah. Part of having power is to knowing how to control it. <laughs> I, I controlled the hell out of that. <laughs> you see all them dead bodies. I'm saying you come from a place of nature and balance and all this stuff, like. I feel like you should value life more. Oh, yeah. No, I'm definitely <laughs> oh, not. Yeah. Extinction is not of, of like, the races. Not something that's on my list <laughs> to take care of anytime <laughs> soon. So, you know, if any of them get out of line, maybe. But, and not, at, not to the point of extinction, though. I want to be clear on that. Yeah. That is not something I'm down for. But... You know, and I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. I mean, I've killed plenty of people. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think the killing is the issue, but I think you need to maybe not keep that on the it. inside <laughs> if you're with someone who who isn't all about it. Yeah, they're and, probably uh, not accustomed to it, and it's it. sensitive right now because somebody just got killed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like with us, we can joke about it all the time, right? Because it's us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember how that guy's head exploded from the lightning bolt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people would be off put by that. Okay. It's like we're feeding information into an AI to <laughs> socialize it. Calculating, calculating. This is good stuff, Shut guys. Good, good Recalculating. Stuff. I will so maybe meditate try to, on this. Try to figure out what one of his interests are. Something yeah. he likes to do. Mm. Then express some interest in that. That's how you trick people into liking you. <laughs> oh. If anything, it'll make him kind of forget a little bit about what happened and then... Just completely change the subject. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go check out my magical chest, and then I will <laughs> catch up with you guys. Okay. Don't, don't go too far. I'm still not sure what this chest is, but okay. All right. Be with you in a bit. Do you know what chest he's talking? Oh, wait, your pinwin's over doing calisthenics. <laughs> I, I, I shake pinwin, and I'm like, hey, we're in the fitness club together. Ah, we're in the fitness club. Fitness and music. There you go. Fitness music in this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it was formed. Do you do you know a song that's called The Danger Perimeter? <laughs> it gets me really pumped up for a workout. I don't know that one, but it totally gives me some ideas. You should learn that one. Does it sound like... <laughs> You're on the right track. <laughs> You're on the right track. So, uh, Tomar, Gorbel, and uh, Zyko. You gonna go explore? Yeah, a little bit. So you guys uh, walk down the big, massive hallway, and you see the glittering jade in the walls. You can see the pillars that have been formed, um, but then you start noticing uh, as you continue on down. You can see some scorch marks in the walls and on the floor, and even the ceiling. And can we tell that where this all originated from? Like we've been going certain directions, and the scorch marks have been coming out. Can we, like, triangulate where they originate from? See, and that's the strange thing about it, is it seems almost, like, haphazard and chaotic. It doesn't seem like it came from a specific source. And, in fact, in some of the places you've been, as you've noticed, just sections have it, and other sections do not, but then an additional section will have it. It's it's kind of confusing. 
almost like if somebody was walking around with a weapon? Potentially. Mm. They made a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys continue on, and you can see more of these scorch marks, and eventually you get to a uh, kind of a crossroads in the hall. It continues on forward, but there's a hallway left and right to you guys. Can we look down to see if there's stuff down there? Um, you So straight ahead, you don't see anything except a continuing hall. Left and right, however, you do see that they look pretty much the same, and especially in the sense that they have what appears to be rooms. You can see doorways. Hmm. Hey, Penguin. You yeah? Ever make a deal with a demon at a crossroads? What? With you? <laughs> Which way you guys want to go? <laughs> Were you following us the whole time? Yeah. I thought you guys stayed over by the entrance. Nah. I've been doing lunges, lunges with Pinwin, following you guys. Oh, so you're walking uh, the uh, across Pinwin the wall. Pinwin wasn't going though. He was working out. Hmm? They were well, both right. He was yeah. holding Pinwin. He was holding yeah. me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So you're left with Curate in this room as they all. Oh shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, left, right, and straight. I'll what do just you guys wander off. I just picture him with like beads of sweat, like it's just us. <laughs> I'll I'm wander not off. gonna worry about it. Good. I wonder. I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah. It's his. It's it's you know, that's that's his problem. If he doesn't like me, I'm a really nice guy. You know. Are you just saying this to yourself? I'm thinking it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be her stag. That's all I can be. So you go to the left, and you see that there are several rooms. Most of them seem like empty, like bed chambers of sorts. Like at one point, they probably you can see like the rough framework of a stone bed in most of them, with no mattress or anything, and and just dust everywhere else. Is As there if, any sign that there were? cell doors before at some point? Uh, no. There was no sign of actual cell doors. However, you do see further on down that there is a a doorway that has an actual door on it, but the door is red and like a burnished Mm. red color and it seems to be an intricate design on it. Is it clean? No, it's dusty. Okay. Mm. On the left side? On the right side. Or down the left hall, but on the right side wall. I'm definitely going to go up to that door. Is there someone and as you, named Nelly dancing in there? As that, you... Uh, what, right give me down. a perception check. Get it? No? Fine. You're referencing <laughs> The Haunting of Hill House. Yes, thank you. Uh, 25. Oh, okay. So as you approach the door, there is one more doorway off to your left. And out of the corner of your eye, you see something that kind of catches... You're not sure exactly, but it almost looks like a glint of light. And you look... And you can see that there is a chest in there. And next to the chest is a skeleton. Looks to be about dwarvish size. And it seems to be its hand is resting on the top of the chest. Wait, so we're in there too? Well, he sees this if you're following him. You guys are in the hallway. Did we come to Uh, ground level to follow him? Yeah. Is there a chain attached to the chest? There's not. I don't know. It's inside the room with the door? No, it's a in a room on the other side of the oh, hallway. And you were just, walking it's by an and open you said, room? "Yep, doesn't have a door on it." Oh, well, Pinwin's gonna run that way. Pin- you run into the room. But Can I mm-hmm. try to well, grab? Give him. me a perception check because you grab may not by have the seen back it. by the collar. Seventeen, twenty-three. Okay, yeah, you saw this too. So you run in. Yeah. Can I try to grab him by the collar? Uh, the give me a, yeah. Okay, so yeah, give me athletics. Eleven. All right, then you give either athletics or acrobatics. 27. So you make to grab him by the collar, and he, <laughs> yeah, he's, it, it, like, it, like brushes, yeah, it brushes your fingertips. There is There are a few things faster in this world than Pinwin seeing something shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and you run into the room, Pinwin, Pin- and you see no. that there is a chest and what appears to be a dwarven skeleton with its hand resting on the chest. Hey, Pinwin, be careful. Okay. And um, in the skeleton's hand is a rolled up piece of paper. Do you still have the ability? Nope. Don't. Do you still have the ability to talk to dead things before touching them? Oh. You know, I do. 
He's got this scroll here. I'm kind of interested in reading this, but... Um, He's touching a chest, which tells me maybe that's the thing that killed him. So if you touch him, maybe it'll set off a chain reaction that'll also kill you. So you should probably talk to him or find out... Like, what killed him before doing anything? So I am glad that you've talked to me a little. <laughs> um, um, Let's see. I'm After trying to careful see. consideration, I've decided not to endorse your <laughs> apprehension. The cor- the corpse must still have a mouth? Does it have a mouth if it's a skeleton? It doesn't have a lower jaw. It has just an upper jaw. So, so no. No. Okay, so it appears that this guy's missing a mouth, but he has a scroll. So I'm going to just look at his scroll. So you take the scroll? Mm-hmm. All right. You take the scroll, and in very untidy handwriting, you see, and on the ground, you see a ancient-looking quill and a well of, like, that has long dried of ink, um, which would lead you to believe that he wrote this himself. Um, and it says, The last will and testament of Dim Dirk Dungeon Bane. <laughs> dungeon bane? <laughs> apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> apparently the dungeon was his bane. bane. <laughs> and all all it says in there is, as a world famous dungeon explorer, it makes sense that my final moments would be spent in one. Irony. Please, if you find this, take my final hoard. Perhaps you can use these trinkets of my acquisitions. I will not live on, but my legacy shall. It says to take the stuff that he left. What stuff? I mean, I'm guessing it's in the treasure chest. Do I see any other stuff around him? Nope. Yeah, pretty sure that's what this treasure is. Well, Pinwin, you're like the oldest one of us. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Weirdly enough. I'll defer to your judgment, but I think this is a a weird coincidence. I'm going to wait outside in the hallway. (laughs) Can I put my ear against the treasure chest? Yeah, give me perception. The mimic opens its maw and (laughs) bites off Pinwin's head. 17 plus 17. What is that? 34. Yeah, 34. You hear nothing inside. Hmm. Well, it's not making noise, and I feel like if it was one of those monster treasures, then it'd be, like, growling or something. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. Okay. You <laughs> you open up the chest, and inside is a vast assortment of different objects. You see what appears to be some sort of circlet. You see a uh, tiny vial of glowing purple liquid. You see a a hat that looks really used and abused and smells just like beer. (laughs) Um, You see a silver coin that has on one side a dragon. Um, That's the, well, you can just see the one side as it's sitting there. Um, You can also see a scroll that's bound with a skull and crossbones on it. You see a pair of bracers, leather bracers. Uh, You see a pair of boots that have would appear would, like the laces stick out on them, almost like whiskers. Um, Cute. You also see a horn that is made out of metal, and then you see this like silvery, bluish silvery, like chainmail shirt. Oh my gosh! There's a lot of different things in here. Can we tell okay. what metal that shirt was made out of? Are you guys stepping in the room? I'm looking at I am the not. stuff. It's in the chest. Well, hold on here. All right. Well, then I'll peek over. <laughs> okay. Is there a way I can see if these are cursed? Um, you would need to definitely identify oh, them that's s- take by a magical while. means. Um, you. It looks like it might be Mithril. Ooh. Mithril. Mithril. I mean, I did make Penguin's shiny shirt out of Mithril. So yeah. Is it Mithril? Yes. It okay. Is. <laughs> so I like, forgot about that. It's yeah. just glowing. <laughs> yeah. It's got. It's definitely. Some has some sort of enchanted quality to it. Mm. I'm gonna pick up the scroll and try to open it and see what's in it. Okay. Oh God, is that bad? <laughs> it's got a skull and crossbones on it. So you. <laughs> I mean, I it it says danger. Do not open under pain of death. <laughs> it uh, it <laughs> seems like a weird kind of script in there. Is it an evil script? Uh, it's hard to tell. Is it, the it's scroll un- gunky? It's, it's unrecognizable. It is not gunky. It's written so it's in not, hate. Um, it's not infernal? No. 
You do not speak this language. Doesn't the translator translate? Every language but this language. Ooh. That that's be. not good. This doesn't translate. What? That's bad, probably. That's weird. Huh. That'd have to be a really old language, I would I think. I hope I'm not cursed again. <laughs> um, Willem, can you check these out? I probably shouldn't touch other things before I get more things stuck to me. <laughs> no, I'm good. Please, they're really good treasures. This headband is like I start horrible. walking up the wall of the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Willem, no! No, I'm good. Come back! Nope, I'm gonna... Willem! I'll be up here when you guys are ready to move on. Just keep the items for now, Penguin. And when I... If I get my power back, I won't be too scared to identify them for you. I have to touch them to put them in my bag, though. Um, Unless I can put the treasure chest in my bag. Maybe put the Will bag over the treasure chest. Put the bag Roll over your arm. Yeah, give me an arcana check. And then do okay. a flippy. I mean, it should be anything that fits in a five foot cube, right? Well, I rolled but 24. It, you think that, yeah, you could potentially, if you close the lid on the, on the chest, you could probably fit it into the bag of holding. All right, well, here I go. <laughs> you shimmy the <laughs> shimmy the bag over, <laughs> and loop, and then it's in the in the bag. Shimmy, shimmy, Trevor, tre- Trevor. God damn it, <laughs> <laughs> Trevor chest. <laughs> I really know no, someone's I, name is that. I, 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 Hi, I'm Trevor. I, that's, Trevor chest. <laughs> that's not a treasure chest. That's a Trevor chest. <laughs> <laughs> Never Torre. stops talking. It's a mimic that's misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> He's got he, he's got a bit of a speech impediment. Oh my god, that's a great Trevor. NPC. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, never forget Trevor Chest. All right, so Gratis. you have put this Trevor Chest in your <laughs> knapsack. Okay, and I'll put my sack because the sack doesn't get bigger, right? It kind of just like yeah, it kinda, it, it expands like. when you need it to, and then it goes back to a manageable size. Okay, and then I'll just. Put that pack back where it came from. It's a Barney bag. Or so <laughs> help me. That's a really useful mm-hmm. bag, Penguin. It really is. I know. I'm excited. I, now I just need to find more treasures, and it can just be my treasure bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this room is void of anything else except the skeleton. I'm going to go back to Kirid. Okay. You're going to um, walk all the way back? Yeah. You guys can keep looking around. Okay. Everyone that's still in the hallway, uh, as he's walking away, give me a perception check. Man, I'm so bad at perception. 24. 26. 10. I knew it. <laughs> I was like, she's going to say 10. Uh, so Pinwin and uh, Willem, you guys see that, uh, you, you guys have been noticing the scorch marks everywhere, but you see that underneath this red door on the other side of the hall, there's a, like a, metric fuck ton of scorches all around the frame of the door. Gerbil, are you still mm. holding? What about the door hands? itself? Mm-hmm. The nice. door itself does not have any scorches on it. That's so weird that this door would be fine, but there's all these scorch marks, you know? You want to check that out? Yeah. <laughs> I'll roll uh, investigate. Is that what I'm mm-hmm. doing? Okay. Yeah. Twelve. There are scorch marks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I just look kind of scorchy. We're going to hop back to Herstag real quick. Herstag, you have pulled your magical chest out. Mm-hmm. And are you attempting to unlock it? <laughs> Kira just looking really creeped out by this. Give Kira a look. Like got a- one eyebrow raised. He just stares back at you and then looks down. Kira, I know you have... This weird feeling about me. I'm real sorry, but you might want to look at this cool thing. This uh, chest. Give me a persuasion check. Coming from the murder man. <laughs> the murder. Disadvantage? Hotel. No, because it's not going to be. Because well, he's it. got that. Pl- okay, you still have the plus two, but it is a disadvantage. We'll do it that way. I have a plus one. You're a plus so one. Mean. Sorry. Thank you for That's my- what I would have done. <laughs> You're so, mean. so disadvantage? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, it's still a... Oh, jeez. Eight. Eight. Uh, he kind of crinkles his nose at you, and <laughs> and he, he kind of, like, he crosses his arms, and he scoots over so that he's facing the wall. 
Oh, wow. wow. You're missing out, man. Man, I am so sorry. That was just real... <laughs> you hear what, him what weeping you openly. About? I... I'm sorry I, I w- admitted I was a murderer. Yeah. Too. <laughs> can, can you give me a second to try to explain a little bit in more detail? So I'm I live in the I I was I was raised in the woods. OK, <laughs> um, that's you know always what, do you know what to me for some do you know what woods are? I, I think so. There's it's like a place outside of civilization where there's a bunch of trees and animals and stuff. I I didn't I wasn't raised around other people. For the most most of my childhood I knew like two or three people. Okay? So the way I talk to people, it's not really I don't know what to say, you know. But I'm really sorry that I creeped you out with the whole killing thing. If you if you've heard anything about heroes, if there's really bad people that are hurting regular people, you know, sometimes it it just comes down to putting them down, you know, really dangerous people that are hurting common people. He kind of stays silent for a second, and then he looks past you at this little black box. Can I see what's in the box? Yeah, man, come on over. He scoots off of the the bench and he kind of he kind of carefully walks over and kind of look over your shoulder. And Herstag, from now on, you will take plus two to persuasion interactions. Ooh. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I I really like you, and I just wanted to, you know, I didn't want to ruin this bond that we had. I felt like we were real connected, you know. If you, if you show me how to be a druid, all is forgiven. Cool. I will make that my next mission. I swear. Kirid has entered the party. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> um, Tomar, you come down the hallway as you see they have obviously made up at, of some kind. Hugging. <laughs> just hugging now. Uh, I'm going to hold my thumb out pointing back behind me as I walk up. Hey, Kirid, when yeah. was the last time you guys had people in this dungeon? Oh, that probably would have been, like, mm, way before I was born. But, like, probably a hundred years, maybe more. Do you know if anyone comes back to check on those people after they've been put in the dungeon? Uh, 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 Most of the time, we remove the body. Why? Did you find a body? Yeah, there's a random cell with a door, a red door. Hmm. And there's a guy inside that had a chest and a note and all this stuff. And he wasn't clear on how he died. But hmm. I don't know if he was a prisoner or what. It just seemed really weird that no one came back to claim his belongings. You didn't open the red door, did you? No, he was across the hall from the door. Hmm. What's behind the red door? Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, I have heard that it's uh, something bad. We kept it down here. Um, I probably shouldn't have left them back there. <laughs> Come back it. to us. So should we open the door? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I kick open the door. <laughs> Do you kick the door? No. Oh. <clears throat> we can switch back to you guys for a second. Oh, okay. All right, well. So should we open this? I mean, it looks... I want to know what's there, but um, scorch marks don't look... Inviting. It looks I dangerous. Wish... No, this looks dangerous as fuck, and this I'm going makes to me a... a little bit more uncomfortable being in this dungeon. The door does it have a handle? It doesn't have a handle. Does, does it have it... a spout? <laughs> <laughs> does it have a Tomar like shaped face carved into it that I can kick in the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <Ooh. laughs> no. Uh, there's just some weird. I pull my pants down. <laughs> there's some <laughs> weird designs all over it. Uh, weird designs. How? Well, um, as in Gor- Gorbel's proximity is, so it would have, I guess I should back up. Okay. It would have been weird designs, but you can tell that it's, so it slowly becomes translatable and it like looks as I approach it as, as you guys have approached it. Um, so since you're inside the radius like of the translation transmutation effect as we're approaching Gorbel it. Gorbel no, has his a stone her translation stone. Oh, yeah. So okay, it, it gotcha. translates as 
as long as she's within a 30 foot parameter, okay. you can see, you can translate. And it looks to be some a long string of spells. You don't recognize the words, okay. but they have they kind have of magical meaning. Yeah. And I can understand that. They're, they're like almost like consonants. Yep. Okay. Um, would I have recognized some of the markings or the language prior to it? Do you speak infernal? I don't think so, but let's double check here. I do, though. Oh. Yep. I do not, but Pinwin does. You speak Infernal, so mm-hmm. you can definitely see that this is an Infernal spell. It lists oh, yeah. different elements in a very specific order. Oh, yeah, this is a an Infernal spell. These are totally spelly things. And it's definitely a, like a spell of sealing. It's, it's holding the door shut, I think. Ooh, does it say why? It does not. Nope. I gotta be honest, I know I was just, you know, spouting words of caution to you. Mm-hmm. But you want to know what's behind I'm the door? I'm real curious right? about mm-hmm. what's behind this door. I feel like <laughs> now might not be the time to explore and indulge our curiosity. Do you want to squat up first? Should we ask that one guy? Maybe he knows. Maybe. Karen! <laughs> Karen, tell Very us about the red door! <laughs> Down the hallway. Uh, down the hallway, you hear Tomari and Hersteg. You can hear them going, Kieran, tell us about the door. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's just uh, open the door. I, I'll uh, open, try to open the chest real quick to show them how this works. Oh, wait. Okay, so you plink in a bunch of coins. You plink in 15 coins. Yeah, so it's just a weird um, turn and cranks and like there's like a little doorknob on it. And, and I, then... <laughs> <laughs> And then it's just kind of like a guessing game how to make it open. It? Yeah. Like and then, yeah. It <laughs> and then <laughs> it, through a slot in the in the chest, a piece of paper <laughs> slowly floats to the ground. Did you just Fonzie the magic chest? <laughs> I won't read it. Kill Kirit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll let I'll let you pick which one. Really? Yeah. No, that's not that's not. You don't want to do that? Roll for it. No. Okay. Pick what I mean, what? yeah. It's I mostly because I couldn't find the list. <laughs> I, oh. Can you oh, set it roll to for me? it. Or yeah, um, roll like it, a D6. What are you picking? We don't know. Shit, now I got He's got a spell book. He does know, though. Okay. Um, I tried looking for it while we were talking, but... Oh, okay. Two. The second one. Or the second from the bottom. Dealer's choice. Don't give him choices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. DM's choice. All right. Okay, so of these remaining ones, Just, I will uh, okay. roll. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jesus. Eleven. So roll Damn a it. d10. Or a d12. Oh, yeah, roll a d12. <laughs> d12 minus one. Just d12, Does and then work? and then if it's... Uh, if, if it's, it's 12, 12 then, re-roll. Yeah, if it's 12, punch yourself in the face. <laughs> yeah, but 12 is water breathing. There shouldn't be a 12. You said there's 11 spells. Oh, so, 11. Right. Moron. <laughs> Looks like you a little d20. Yourself. Here it is. Yep. Motherfucker, find that your d used d20. to be my axe dice. <laughs> like body spray? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he just... Five. Which one'd you get? Oh, it shows all of them that I have still. Fuck. So it's when you have? Yeah, pl- ones I have and ones I don't. So sorry. So um Thanks, D D Beyond. <laughs> yeah, that's silly. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> so I have detect magic, detect poison and disease, purify food and drink, water, water. Just show me which ones and I'll just pick one. What if he has it, though? It's going to show all of them. That's well, then I'll pick a different one. So we'll roll a D8. Roll a D8. Because there should be seven. Okay, roll a D8. <laughs> you guys have to write this shit down. Three. I, ha- I have it I, saved I somewhere. I gave him like, yeah. a little list. That's so helpful. Animal Sorry. messenger. That's not helpful. Nope. Sense. <laughs> Commune with nature. Cool. That's one that I was really wanting. 
Well, now you have a sick. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can commune sick. with nature. That doesn't look like you could care. <laughs> that's the that's a fifth level, uh, reli- or um, we're happy for you, ritual buddy. spell. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I deserved this. Okay, so you have now acquired this spell. And uh, Kirid looks impressed. Can I have one? Um, <laughs> give I'm him not the sure. I mean, okay. How about we do this? You got any paper on you? No. Mm. I will remove a page from my ritual book. Ooh, are you, should you do that? Uh-uh. What's with this door? <laughs> yeah, you guys can still hear them shouting it's, now. I think I'm gonna open it. It's just like a little <laughs> binder with a bunch of papers shoved in there. Didn't I'm gonna you, yeet the door. You told me you found After this. After the spell, of course. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, you told me no, you found this, this in a magical new. place. No, I'll, I'll, I'll use my old ritual book. <laughs> Tear a page out of there. Mm-hmm. That one I just bought at like Dollar General or something. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'll rip a page out. Copper and I'll, General. I'll just kind of write it out okay. um, in Dwarvish so he can understand it. Well, here you go. This Which one did your you give him? Very first spell. It is. Um, it's gonna have to be a first level. Mm. Commune with squirrels. <laughs> squirrels. Sorry. Detect. Magic. Secret square. So he, and he like grabs it with both hands and he f- very carefully folds it and tucks it into his clothing. We're Thank gonna, you. Yep. We're Will gonna, that work? Uh, we're going to make you a druid, buddy. Will that work? No, he won't know how to cast spells. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. But we're going to work on it. <laughs> Just starts crying. Openly. <laughs> We'll you guys, get you there, buddy. You guys can still hear the clamor at the end of the hallway. We should go check on them. They're, yeah. They seem like they want to get in there. We need to stop them. Wait, stop them from what? Opening the door. Oh, oh yeah, you said it worked something. Come on! Okay, <laughs> I'll uh, so you guys, climb up to my feet. Uh, and uh, you guys head down, and you guys see Tomar Herstag come around the corner. Kirid remains behind. Right as they're coming in, I was about to get ready to, like, start the spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see that Pinwin looks bashful, like he just got caught in the act. Easy, oh, easy, easy. Kirit okay. said there's something. Where's Kirit? He's back there. God. He said that there's something that they're trying to keep in there that we shouldn't open this. Is that what the scorch marks are? I don't know. I'm assuming We're it's something just... hot. Does he not know what they're trying to keep in there? He didn't specify, but. That's helpful. Um, I mean, he just seems like a young kid. Pinwin and Willem, are you the closest? Are you near the near, nearby the door? Kind of. She's definitely within 30 feet. Okay. Uh, Pinwin, Gorbel, and Willem, give me a perception check. Oh, 10. 22. 31. Okay, so only Pinwin. Just, like, very quietly... You hear a noise from the other side of the door. You can hear, Help me. Help me. Guys, there's someone saying, Help me. Really? It's so quiet. It's I completely quiet here. Yeah, and when you guys, if you guys get closer, and now that you're listening exactly for that, you can hear very faintly. Help mm. me. Oh, shit. Okay, so me. Well, Kirid. Someone wants help. Kirid, in there. it's Kirid, right? Mm-hmm. And Kirid was just explaining that these guys, the dwarves here, haven't been down here for like a hundred years. This gives help me real bad me. vibes. Who are you? Me. Help me. How do we get in? You know what it'd be. You know what's really handy. <laughs> I just used my magical chest. I got commune with nature. Cool. I could just commune with nature and see what the hell, if there's any, like, demon or anything oh. on the other side of that door. That'd yeah, be that'd, that'd be good. That'd be, be a, a good great call. Trick. Very yeah. good timing. Yeah, yeah that, that is, is crazy. <laughs> so do we have to wait ten minutes for you to ca- cast this? Yeah, sorry. Uh, we'll cut forward ten minutes. Does, okay, it, keep, so I'm gonna does it only say help my me? Little, yeah. That's all it says. Little second grader cross-legged meditation stance. And, um, you know, 
Maybe I'm glowing, I don't know. Okay. And you commune with nature, and it, that allows you to see inside the room? No. It will allow me to know three things about the surrounding area within 300 feet if I'm underground. Okay. So... Yeah. I would like to know if there are any powerful celestials, fey, fiends, elementals, or undead okay. within 300 feet of me. That's all you can know? There are Just for for my one. I thought you said three. You said just for my one. Okay. You yeah, don't sense five the, options. You don't total. sense the presence of any of those. Okay. So is that a person who needs help? There's other All bad right. things that could be than those things. So there's there are no celestials, fey, fiends, elementals, or undead nearby. Okay. There is a chance that maybe this door has some seal that's blocking my vision through there, though. I mean, um, this is an infernal spell to open it and unseal it. Did I mention that? That's the language of the demons, right? Yeah. Mm. What's the difference and between that and abyssal? Things. Abyssal is spoken by devils, I believe. Oh. Well. And primordial creatures. No, I guess primordial. I might as well just ask if I could sense any influence from other planes of existence within 300 feet. You do not. Okay. Mm. Prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or people. I think you have to... I feel like you would have to choose a specific thing. I'm going to see if there's any prevalent plants nearby. There are no prevalent plants. God damn it. What happens if I knock on the door? Like, that, 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 like that thing. Help me. <laughs> how do we help goes. you? Use more words, right. please. We all agree this is just creepy and we should probably just not open not it. Open but I want right? to know, what if it's a someone who needs help? What if it's a trap? Yeah, the fact that they're not responding with anything other than help me in a very creepy voice and there's... I was curious too, but now my curiosity has waned. Let's go back and see what Kira's up to and see if they've come back from their investigation. But Kira doesn't even know who this is. They don't, they've they never been down here in like a hundred years. I'm fine with that. I what don't care anymore. What if someone got trapped in here? Then it's, it looks like they It looks like they went through a trapped. lot of trouble to keep them behind there. Something yeah. potentially power enough, powerful enough to convince people to let them out if you, we linger too long. Yeah, I don't like this anymore. Does anyone feel anything like... All of a sudden, T- tugging at their you guys hear Jimmy's boo, ah! and Maria <laughs> appears. <laughs> what the fuck, Maria? Hey! Was Pinwin scared? Were you scared, Pinwin? Should I roll? You sure? <laughs> perception. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty low perception. I have high perception though, so twenty total. Uh, it, it wasn't super scary, but you appreciated the effort. She she's smiling at you guys. Sounds like you're trying to get behind this door. Yeah, that was pretty good. Was that you saying to help me? No. Oh, that no. wasn't you. Can you get in there? Yes. Do you know who's in there? <laughs> Do you wanna take a peek and let us know what's in there? Yeah. Sounds I'll go good. ahead and do that. Awesome. And she slowly puts her head through the door. And then you hear her go, huh. and she turns back around. And, and she's gone. And she goes, it's horrible in there. <laughs> and that's where we'll end for the night. What? <laughs> it's just a Denny's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you guys will take an additional 2,000 experience points. Additional? Yeah, I was going to say um, additional to what? To what? Just at 2,000. That was your, <laughs> your session <laughs> experience. Uh. They make 7,000 look so close, but it's 7,000. 
All right. What else do you guys deserve Did you say experience two? for? 2,000. Gotcha. Okay. I opened a treasure. I'm probably cursed again. I touched a scroll. Yeah, you can have 50 experience for opening the treasure chest. Yeah. For gaining a new spell. You can have 50 experience. But not a new friend. Ooh, no, no, he resolved that. Actually, yep. yeah, you can you can have 100 experience for that. And I gained a plus one to persuasion. That's pretty rad. Sweet. We didn't... We went quietly. Yes, which I was anyone. wondering how that was going to go. 100 experience to you all. <laughs> and Some of us persuaded that a mm-hmm. little more than Okay, uh, Gorble, you can have an additional 50. What or about yeah, and town. me? Yep, I was being Okay, super... all three of you can have 50 experience. Yep. Yes. Um for working on that hot bod, Willem, you can have 50 experience. For helping the hot bod. You can have 10 experience. <laughs> but also playing music. Yeah, That's using Song of Rest. Okay, so a total of 50 there. Yeah. For uh, getting us out of a hot spot at the beginning. Oh, back. yeah. Yeah, you, you can have uh, 50 experience oh, for that. Oh, yeah, that, that was good. Telling Willem to get us out of the hot spot by... 50 experience. <laughs> What's the hot spot? What was your idea Otherwise, you were about to say something Greater until I asked if. Oh, yeah. that was actually what I was gonna say. Okay. We, we need to get out of here. Let's fucking vamoose. I think Herstag should get some more for fucking finally getting some jade and showing some restraint. Ah, you could have twenty five because the the pursuit itself was really the the reward. <laughs> <laughs> I should get. Experience for yeah, giving for you Jade. Giving <laughs> saving Valor. Yes. Oh. You can have 150 experience that points for that. Good. That was cool. That was good. Defending Hexel. I hope that You can have 50 for that. Arguing with her and showing her the reason of not trusting Hexel blindly. 50 Back, experience. Backing up showing, those logistics <laughs> with facts. Showing experience. Tomar his own hypocrisy. Okay, shut up, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you can't just be given experience for arguing. You have it. How about for staying All in the you. middle of the road? No. <laughs> <laughs> you for not fence riding any section. opinion whatsoever. <laughs> Even though I asked Pinwin's opinion, he gave it. I, I you mean, said you liked him. He seemed, yeah, he seemed pretty fine. Yeah, I didn't say he was my nice favorite. Guy. He's not my best friend. I like, love Hexel. Didn't immediately befriend him. All right, I love Lamb. Anything brother. else you need experience for? Um, reminding everyone Zyko's on the show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure, you can have twenty-five experience. Hmm. Um, for. Oh my god. <laughs> Using my commune with nature to No, I mean, we didn't. I really mean, you can have 20 experience for immediately using it for continuing to exist in this game. <laughs> All right, let's move on to tonight's MVPC. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Hmm. All right. Okay, look at the person who has the number that you're going to vote for. Then think about just what that number is. That is going and to no be other much numbers. easier now that we're going in a circle. And I will give you the to the count of three no. to vote. No, 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 no. Did somebody fart? No, it was a phone. Yes. Phone. All right. <laughs> I mean, yes, and a phone. Remember to put the finger in the air of the person you're voting for. One, oh, two, God. three, vote. Her like you got to vote. All right, so that's three votes for Gorble, one vote for Herstag, and one vote for Willem. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking very loud. Being so why are you so upset? Why, <laughs> Gorble, why did you vote for Herstag? Oh, I thought I was voting for myself as for... <laughs> um, Herstag showed a lot of his... A lot of great characteristics today. He made a friend, lost a friend, made that friend back. <laughs> so that was really cool. Uh, he got a new spell. It was a pretty positive episode for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pinwin, why'd you vote for Willem? Um, I thought the greater invisibility was really good because that could have ended up way worse. And then um, I enjoyed being in the fitness club. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tomar, why'd you vote for Gorble? 
Uh, I thought it was a really unique character trait. Well, yeah, to uh, think mostly on emotion and going off of her bond that she had with Hexel and informing that on her opinion of him and willing to fight about it. Just, Mm -hmm. I mean, that seemed interesting, even though I thought it was really stupid to just trust him (laughs) for no reason. Not saying I trust him blindly. He was obviously not there. He didn't slice the throat because he was with us the whole time. I mean... Do you not know magic? You're a fucking druid. <laughs> you can't slice throats from I mean, far away. I mean, could if he wanted to. You can definitely send minions That was who he looked at from... right when he woke up. That yeah, seems a little definitely yeah. interesting. Yeah. First saying, I guess you guys didn't read... We know read. he didn't You'd... physically do it. You none of Nobody else read the Game of Thrones books, so... I mean, I didn't. this seems like a totally feasible thing, right? Mm, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You, you. You don't have to leave the throne to make the order to kill yeah. somebody. I just think it was silly that he was your top suspect. Because he's the one who's like, I trust you guys. Like... He's also he's who ingratiating himself Bella to us. Looked at like right he doesn't when have, he came to... He doesn't have a ton of reason to trust us. We I mean, just showed up. Uh, just because Gorbel unleashed her soul to him doesn't mean he should trust all of us implicitly. Yeah. When somebody was had their throat randomly slit, that doesn't just happen in there. Yeah. Think about it a little bit. Yeah, my my, my cynicism. <laughs> Dumbass. I like, he- I like Hexel. And that's why I voted for Gorbel. <laughs> okay. Because that's right. the closest I could defending. get to Hexel. Yep. <laughs> all right. And Willem, why'd you vote for Gorbel? I just think it's cute that Gorbel likes something so small so quickly (laughs) and just the idea of them being besties is long like I really hope that he's not the fucking mastermind evil person that I think he is uh, because that would be a really cute relationship I think nice well that means tonight's MVPC is Gorbel the adorable ice tower 500 experience to you. I feel like I have just gotten like a mercy MVPC and it's because everybody knows something about Hexel that I don't know and I'm <laughs> going to get crushed. Nope. You were just role playing. You guys are all on the same page. You were a point re- uh, you were role playing your dumb blind love of Hexel really well. <laughs> it's yep. not love. We just yeah, we, hit it off. You know when you just meet someone you just vibe with? We just eat dinner together and fuck on a regular basis. We're not dating. <laughs> <laughs> nice throwback. All right. Well, that's it for tonight's episode. Uh, stay tuned for next week. We'll see uh, what else happens. Uh, thanks to Chad Piper for the intro song, to Adrian Von Ziegler for this beautiful background music, to all of you listeners. We really appreciate it. Check out our social media, our Patreon, do all that good junk. Uh, underscore underscore make sure there's the underscore if you don't remember listen to the beginning of the episode again uh i'm your host in dm and you seth <laughs> that's my name and you seth and, and you seth and oh, this hello, is John. the d20 syndicate podcast where we go on adventures so you don't have to goodbye oh, we have hey, a t-rex bye. see you guys Yeah. This Peeling. motherfucker says couponing. Yeah. Coupon. Does yeah. anybody else say coupon? coupon? It's a Midwest thing, I think. What do, what do other people say? Coupon. I say coupon. <laughs> coupon. Coupon. Ah. You, <laughs> you know. Are you be- afraid to say it now? I no, I feel coupon. like I feel like I have a bias now because everybody's been saying one thing or the other, so I can't say it naturally. Coupon. Yeah. <laughs> coupon. <laughs> Cow pie. Coupon. Shit. <laughs> I also say costume. Yeah. Costume. yeah, and you costume. say you say costume. Yeah. Costume. What do yeah, you like say? a normal costume? Yeah, most people say. He's, costume. He's what do you say? He's putting emphasis costume? on the hue. It's like saying costume. 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 Issue. <laughs> There's costume. a slight issue. And we are saying yeah, no, um. we're saying like more like phonetically like C O S T O O M. Yeah. Costume. costume. He's saying costume. 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 He With puts like a y. costume. Almost like you almost have like John your costume. It's like costume. That's how I say it. Costume.
Mm, I might say costume. No, you don't. How do you say bagel? <laughs> bagel. Bagel. Costume. Bagel. Oh, no, say, no, I say, say costume. Say vague. 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 <laughs> vague. Vague. What do you say? How do you... I am, vague. 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 I honestly vague. do not hear the difference. You and your there, sister both say vague. There, there's a very slight... Vague? You, vague. You, you like put your tongue vague. up when you say vague. vague and it has like an E sound and he has, his has more of an vague. A sound. Yeah, yours is you more say it weird, more but vague. I don't think it's you're not saying weird. it your normal It's not way. weird. I don't no, know Lindsay, if I am he's saying Lindsay's doing vague. more of a vag. Oh, like vague. vaginal? <laughs> vag. I tend vague. to get really into my <laughs> how do you say? Sometimes? How do you say bag, Lindsay? Bag. 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 I know so many people bag. around here who bag. say bag and I'm like, what? Throw it in the bag. How do you say bag? Bag. 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 Sack. Bag. Sack. You have like Does an anybody... East Coast, like kind of almost Massachusetts. <laughs> does anybody here say Warsh or Italian? Oh, God, no. Fuck no. no. My no. mom does. Yeah, it drives their me nuts. So many people <laughs> in Midwest, especially in Iowa, say Italian. What yeah. is it drives that? me what? nuts. I, I don't. You don't I go say, to Italy. I yeah. say Italian. You what? do? What? Yeah. No, you don't. Since You've corrected when? me on it. Elijah, oh, I am sorry. And where did you learn to do that? And why? I don't know. <laughs> Does our mom say Italian? I, I had to know. force myself to say Italian. He says that in Italian Inglorious Bastards, so right? Oh man, I have. Only I have I've a whole. Said. Can I pick Thanks. this off? Why? Because it's starting to peel. No, there's like going to be so much sticky. gravitating <laughs> towards it. There's going to be so much Can sticky I? if you do it's it. It's going to be super sticky. It's going to take forever, and you're going to. Oh, it will not. It is so ready. Nope. It's gonna <laughs> that. You're not going to get it smoothly off. No. That's where I you so have am. your... But <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about that. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the price sticker. <laughs> yeah, because that's got a blue sticker thing on it. Yeah, that that's uh. fucked. <laughs> that's like easy pawn. <laughs> there you go, There Tom. are multiple layers <laughs> of fucked. It's like, these guys think I can't peel shit. Also, <laughs> this is my whole life. <laughs> In you, just, you do the cross. I just. Oh. <laughs> Are you also a dentist? <laughs> That's funny. Mm. <laughs> Hold still. No. No, he hit me here, man. <laughs> I understand. Please remove your pants, sir. Oh, dude, you idiot! You fell for the you fell for the prostate scam. Your prostate's in your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they call them chirobacters? Eh. Because they pra- they're practitioners of Cairo. What if Mancy? there was a raptor <laughs> chiropractor? <laughs> why, are they, why are they called tractors? Ooh, then? chiromancer or an osteomancer. Some of you controls No, bones. what if there a was a raptor story. chiropractor and then it was called a chiroraptor? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Just off the top of my head, the ones that I remember, for some reason they were talking about somebody's whatever, daughter or whatever that had that has Asperger's and they were saying ash burners. <laughs> <laughs> That's just dumb. <laughs> That's not even a weird pronunciation. Like no. sometimes I say I Asperger's because I don't like saying burgers, but so <laughs> why? Because it sounds like you're saying ass burgers. Exactly. Okay, That's South Park. the best way to say it. But yeah, I mean, ass burger. you have a word that's Cheese so fun to say. Yeah, burgers. it's like one of my favorites. <laughs> ass burger. Another one was immature. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah. I... I'll think of more later. For but. all intensive purposes. Oh, God. <laughs> Taking <laughs> something for granted. <laughs> yeah, man. It was, it was messed up from the gecko. <laughs> <laughs> that damn gecko. That <laughs> fucking gecko. It was messed up from the gecko. <laughs> all right, we should start before we go on oh, another tangent. Real quick, sorry. <laughs> we were talking about raptors and oh, yeah. meshing raptor together. There's a movie called The Velocipastor. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about a pastor yes. who can like werewolf into a velociraptor. What? And I want to see it so bad. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> well, the, one of the best ones was actually 50 Cent. And uh, he said, what idiot called it a jet ski instead of a boater cycle? And I was like, that is so <laughs> good, 50 Cent. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like that guy. <laughs> I already bad. brought this up on Lounge League, so I won't reiterate. <laughs> All right. What? Uh, Balor, uh, worm spine, uh, throat cut on it the is ground. Worm spine, right? Worm spine, yes. You say worm weird. Doesn't he? You worm? keep saying warm spine. Yeah. What do you worm, worm spine? Worm. 
about the worm spine. He's a worm. He's earth worm. Jim. Earth worm. There's worms in them hills. There's a worm in my boot. Um. Anyway. <laughs> you were going to be like, we have to kill them. <laughs> no, I was going to be like, we have to make this look not suspicious as fuck. We can have Bernie some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put some shades on him. Hey, what's up? Just chilling with the battle arc. We're just chilling. We're, what's with all this blood? <laughs> um, We spilled tomato juice. Lick it up. Mmm, <laughs> I love tomato soup. <laughs> there was a hair in the blood. <laughs> I mean soup. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys <laughs> totally would you, forgot. It's would you been like so to talk? Long. And he was all like, "Yeah, oh yeah." And we were yes, like, yeah. and we were all like, "Jesus, don't fucking give him the power." Of speech. <laughs> That'd be funny if he comes out and he just has the voice of like Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, what is the deal with this whoa. imprisonment? <laughs> This dance should be a gift. <laughs> it started so slow. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. I didn't have the freedom to dance before because I was like right next to Elijah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I, I'm liking this. Can't dance on your brother? No, it's so. It, we got in trouble. I last cast time. it. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was like, "Stop doing that!" She threw a book at us. Threw a shoe. <laughs> threw a sandal at us. Um, threw a TV. <laughs> <laughs> a fire extinguisher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. <laughs>